The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Yo, take ish 20 minutes to get up off the couch. Joe, you gotta buy some higher couches. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, you gotta buy some high, higher couches. Bro, these couches bro. slide you. No, back these shits are high yeah, ass. Yeah, bro. Like a sliding board. I'm taking yeah, a stand against modern interpretation of luxury. And I've been doing this since I found out that if you get enough money for a real nice couch. They only come 12 and 13 off the floor. They do. They ain't huh? Imagine my look of shock being poor my entire life. Give me a high a couch. High, high joint. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, though. I feel you. I don't want to be what are they doing? on a futon. What are they doing? No. Yeah, I don't need to be on a futon. Now I got to do leg workouts to have a nice couch? <laughs> They're like, yo, why all these niggas be crossing their legs, nigga? Because we slide yeah, off the couch. Only to stop the slipping. <laughs> yeah, bro. We are sliding off the couch, man. Like, I sat I'm on putting my these foot. Like, that was European like, clothes on this Fuck, American man. sloppy built body. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, yo? Yeah, just see me trying to get these jeans on. <laughs> you just jumping up, shaking. Jump. <laughs> I told yo, I, I got it on there. This, this falls in there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Shut up. <laughs> Mute up. <laughs> All right. Let me put my headphones on. Okay. Don't Golden Sacks me to death this pod. <laughs> Ish. There's silly cultural hip hop stuff to get to. <clears throat> Tell me about what. The insurance companies and J.P. Morgan and them niggas is doing <laughs> later, next okay? Week. Next week. Audience, first of all, welcome and thank you for being here. Let me close my laptop mm, so your getting view, sentimental. view to me is not impeded upon. Welcome. Thank you for being here as long as you have. And if you are new here, couldn't be happier to have you. Mm -hmm. We are going to unpack some things today. This is that the are, disclaimer after the disclaimer. That are <laughs> No, I'm starting the pod. This is my new star. I don't want to keep starting. Hey, look who's here. It's Gory. It's... <laughs> then I sound like you with, hey, Ish, what's your sleeper today? <laughs> As the guy playing Ish's sleeper. I wish they would have never pointed that out to me. <laughs> oh, well, he didn't do it last time. But it don't no, matter. No, he did it last time. He didn't do it the time oh, before. The time before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog, I was like, I right, can't he, sit he, here and watch it. Anymore. It's funny. It's too funny now. <laughs> Sometimes you, I'm going to lean into it personally. <laughs> no, you got to. Sometimes you view niggas be right. Uh, couldn't be happier to have you guys here. Uh, I'm your host, Joe Budden. You may have heard many things about me before this broadcast. Believe a third of it. The rest is untrue. Antoine is here dressed as Erickson. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a fit off. Yo. A, a fit pod, a pod yeah, fit off. I don't know who's winning. E, e because of the sneakers. Ish kept it classy on the torso, but rugged on the legs. <laughs> He's got some weird, you know, he does that Harvard, I've been shot, weird thing he does. <laughs> I've been shot, but I also can shoot you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does that. So, yeah, I mean, he's on brand. Harvard, balance, balance. Harvard, I've Ooh, been Oh, I wish I could thing. tell y'all the latest in Ish. Oh, this is so funny. I meant to tell you off here. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in your fucking face. What's wrong anyway, this guy's cool, <laughs> this fucking guy's crazy. <clears throat> Ice is here. Uh... Looking like a little Reese's <laughs> Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup, but the girl one, but a, but a girl one, like a little bit of pink Can in there. Huh? Well, I won't clown the hat. That's Cuzzo. The new barber seemed to not be available as much as the old barber was. I don't. I ain't want to say nothing. It's intentional. Chum. It's the time of the year. Oh, we gonna uh, rock it for the winter. No, no, no December. No, we're just gonna rock it for the winter. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Stack, okay. Stacking that cheese. No, it ain't about that. Parks is here in his right. wedding outfit, minus the blazer. <laughs> okay. And I, the guys are. I should have wore Tim's. And the guys are in the back. There. And you're here. Yes. With jeans on. And I'm here with jeans on. And the hoodie with like a dude a, on it. 
Virgil, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Virgil. With a I was, dude. I didn't know who the dude was. <laughs> with a dude on it. I thought <laughs> it was Virgil. You got rich jeans on? Oh, my God. I don't want to wear these jeans. So, I mean, we don't have to highlight them. I don't think that's compelling content. But please, if you do, then make it funny. Because my thighs is dying. Make it funny. <laughs> make it funny. <laughs> don't. Don't. Tui. Make it funny. You said your thighs are Make it are funny. Dying. My thighs is dying. You jump up and down and get in them, fam. You did. You, you was, lost, you was you running, lost to Erickson. You was running around your house. You was <laughs> jumping up and down like a baddie. Fuck out of here, yo. No, but I did thank God for the elastic in the waistband. <laughs> and I did. the belt. I'm doing that shit where your kangaroo pouch is like the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out yo. to you niggas out there that was tucking your t-shirts in so we could see the belt. I remember that era. Nigga, yeah. Niggas was tucking I did it for a week. Nigga, I seen y'all. Still doing it. I seen niggas still doing sweater it. in. Hoodies in. They, you gonna see the belt. Nigga. All right, where would I like to begin on this audio adventure? Shout out to wherever you might be listening from. Sounds real NPRs without the music. Yeah. <laughs> throw on some Jigga Man. All right, mic check, one, two, one, two. Volume Y'all know who it is, you know who I be, and you know what I do. The whole gang is here, I put that on neighborhood free Sue surf. And casting over while we at it. It's the holidays, the malls is still looking empty. Everybody's broke. Shit is fucked up out here. All right, it's brick out here. Let's start a little harder than that. Hey, what the hell is that? Bob Parks, god damn it. <laughs> you wanted to drop in there. Yeah, but I had my whole, you know what I mean? My bad, my bad. But it's cool. Yeah, don't I'm, check I'm your, fast. your decks, pause. I'm fast. Yo, what made you think of that? What made me think of what? City as well. I, I could think of Well, I had a whole little. You know I mean? That was a nice little. Thank you, Ooh. Jesus. Sheesh. I mean, don't bump my turntables no more. <laughs> don't bump it. Yo, let me make it a net. Yo, do not bump it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, don't bump into the DJ booth no more, yo. All right, what episode is this? 480 what? Six. 486. Them shit's going slow to up. <laughs> Welcome to episode 486 of the JBP. Refer to whatever was said in front of this bad boy, and we are here. Yes, sir. What's popping? What's cracking? How you feeling? Good day, How's sir. your spirit? How's your bank accounts? How's your text thread, DMs, relationships, personal and business? How's everything? Everything is great. Depending up and up. Depending on yeah. where it's from. Mm? You got some, some, some bad texts? What? Of course. <laughs> Depending on who it's from. Get some shitty ones. You get some great ones, you know. Just balance, yeah, balance, yeah. balance. There you go. All right. Awesome. I'm feeling good as well. Thank you, gentlemen, for asking. Uh, where do you want to begin? I feel the like JBP. Be the, messy, messy the JBP. Pod. Where would you be without the JBP? I ain't going to hold you. I'm still sitting there processing. That shit was 99, bro. Niggas yeah. really wasn't born. They, they just, wasn't born. Yeah. And be arguing. <laughs> <laughs> like not even reasonable doubt. That's J third album, and y'all weren't here. And they be arguing. Four, 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 four though. Four, four. Yeah. God damn. I don't argue about? with them people. Twenty one year old tried to argue with uh me the other day. Eminem is a plant, dog. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Yo. Yeah, Please, that's, buddy. That's... Come on. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Nothing. You got it, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Go that's away. it. Go water room. You got it. You got it. Uh, Ice. Oh, let me let the audience know. Ice is on a warpath. <laughs> Ice is on a warpath. That's what, oh, the, that's what those scully's and, for. And I no. don't know. And I don't know why. Shout out to Cuzzo with the scully. I don't know. I don't know what happened. He won't tell us. But he just been lighting our ass up, pause, since this thing has started. That's not what happened, Parks. Let me tell you. You know we come. We, we write. We write our topics. Yeah. Right? yeah. So I'm writing on there. The first one I wrote, I said, can you men let the baddies be the baddies? Mm. That was it. Mm -hmm. And I had a whole reason for that. Mm -hmm. Joe said some slick, something, I forgot what he said, something. I said, you know what? He felt like the shot was aimed at him. Uh, listen, I was like, you know what? <laughs> they don't need to see the fourth wall. No, 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 no I'm letting them go. I'm giving them some, some, some backstory, though. So yeah, I was just like, you apply to this. Shit. Mm. Shots fired. You apply to this. Pow. You send some smoke ish way too, but he don't apply to that. So why? He don't apply to that. So you got other smoke for him. Yo, no, I have smoke for ish. So you got smoke for people today. I didn't have smoke for you. You jumped in front of the gun and all right, well, cool. Well, I defend now. women. I, I'm not talking about I'm talking about the See? men that are <laughs> trying to ish, be the women. Ish, come on. 
Hey, is that wasn't smooth? <laughs> no, because this ain't got nothing to do with the women. <laughs> Barry this Sanders. is you niggas Man, trying to be women. Look at Barry Sanders in the Man, news with that reputation. one. Like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> this is that. <laughs> they try to kill Joe. All right, so, so where does this come from? Tell me. Y'all are stealing everything from the women, bro. From their bags to their slang, their lingo. Like, let them have something. Oh, he's shooting at you. <laughs> really, really astute observation here, Ice. I'm just saying. Like, We're only a few <laughs> eons late with this. And I just asked a question. I, I tweeted. I said, yo, I'm kind of tired of you dudes. Uh, can you let the women keep their lingo? Because I kept saying it's giving and all. Like, yo, it's cute when they say it. Mm. But let, let them have that. Y'all don't got to be be dudes. Be your own person. You ain't got to do what be the women. Be dudes. Yeah, be dudes. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's only one small problem in your little hypothesis over there. What's that? <laughs> the girls didn't come up with that, nor does it belong to them. You don't have to come up with it. Uh, 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 you don't uh, have to come uh, up with it. Uh, they, they claimed it and took it. No, that's that, not theirs. Stop. That's it is theirs. And, they'll, and they'll tell you it's not theirs. It's theirs. Joe. This is a fact. We, we know, we don't we have, know who started it. We don't have it. to we know argue who started about it. it. I'm not saying who, who started anything. <laughs> I'm telling you, let them have that. That's their shit that they are. Come on, with. Mr. Macho Man Machismo. Oh, come on. Come on. Because I can hear your brain. This is you and, this is you and Bitches, your work for us. <laughs> this is you and Ice. I got to hear your you brain. Are, this is you and Ice, dog. I'm about to do with this, bro. Oh, it's, it's giving. All hey. that. Mm-hmm. It just sounds weird hearing. It does. That shit sounds nuts to me. It does. So, so it's I giving was, weird. No, it's not, no, it sounds weird. You hear that? I said it with my nuts. It sounds weird. Not it's giving weird. Not too much on Joe though. My so bad. the people that have nuts. Are, so, the, so we're better if we have nuts. I didn't say that. You you could try to spin it. Just let the women have their jeans, their bags, and their lingo. No, then that's it. Then that's it. No, can't let them have. Let them have, please. That's all it is, man. It wasn't no smoke though. What I got with issue smoke. That's not. Oh, I can't wait for oh, that Oh, please. <laughs> Fast forward then. No, Fif- that's, that's 15 second skip button. Mad, <laughs> mad times. Mad that's, times. That's later, bro. That's oh, later. that's your man. So it's later. It's my man's. You know, boy shit. All right. Well, come in now with a strong, bold opinion that will <laughs> shake things up. Come on. I just it's gave you one. Act like a man. Stop trying to be women. A girl. That was not one. That's not one. Oh, okay. Now. Welcome to the pod. Well, what do we got? Come on. The internet is interneted for you. Made it oh, real yeah. easy to come into work. Yes, they Come have, on. Boy. Come on. They gave it right to you. Rest in peace, Mike Leach, number one, Mississippi State head coach. Uh, passed. I don't know exactly when he passed, but it broke this morning. Mm-hmm. And we can also say rest in peace, Granddaddy IU. We now. can. This rest is in peace, Granddaddy IU. And Legend. rest in peace, Granddaddy IU. And rest in peace, Paul Silas. Yes. Basketball, basketball legend, legend, legend sure. and royalty. So we want to start there. That's important. Uh, also, we I got a family friend that's not doing the greatest. I want to send a prayer out to him as well. I'm sorry to hear. Been that. a lot yeah, of. It's been a lot of. I'm not trying to be morbid. I was reading about Mike Leach. Mm. Mike Leach was rushed to the hospital. And all they said was it was a personal health matter. And as soon as he got to the hospital, they announced that this, he was critical. Mm. So my brain has just been focused on, again, the how instantaneous these things are, right? All right, I'm spooking y'all out here. No, 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 you, you are it's right. correct. It's spooky that you could just be going on about your business and this is going to sound really simple. And at any given point, something inside of you can just stop. That's it. Unbeknownst to everybody, no announcement, no nothing. And you, you plan you a just, vacation for next week and not... No, do you get... get you, that, gets a little, that gets a little spookier. It does, yeah. Right? It does. It sounds so simple, but as you're young, you pay that no mind because you're young. You feel like everything should be working the way it's supposed to be working. But as you get 40 and 45 and 50 and be faced with your decisions you made your whole life, mm-hmm. yeah, that gets spooky. I know so, three or four people that just passed away in the last month or two. Young people, dog, in their 40s. 
You know what I'm saying? That shit is, it starts to change. And then you got kids, you start trying to be like, yo, dog, I could be gone tomorrow. Like, we say it, yo, you could be gone tomorrow. No, you no, really you could be gone be tomorrow, gone today. dog. And all of us got kids, well, you know, Sands Parks, but mm. people got kids, you got to start planning for that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, wills and all of that shit need to start being in place. It's scary, yeah. dog. No, fact. Fact. It's really and scary. And as as I was reading about Mike Leach, you know, I just think of, rest in peace, Hovain. Work. Mm -hmm. I just think of Hovain, Thanksgiving with his family. I think of Kevin Samuels, about to take something down, having a blast. <laughs> Man, yo, shout out to Kevin Samuels, <laughs> yo, too. I think it was about to have a night of it. <laughs> and just, nah, you can't plan. You can't, you can't bro. Mm -mm. And I only bring this up, right, because you bring up a good point at any given second, any given second. But when you're moving, when you're moving, like relocating, how, how important are the local hospitals as you move? Something you don't you? even think about. Yeah. It's something you don't even think about until you need one. You See, I do because we're so spoiled in Jersey with Hackensack Hospital and... I've thought about it because my mom works in a hospital. She's like, you can't move to that city. Their hospitals are terrible. It's trash. Yeah. Mm. And that could be life and death. Hell yeah. Like legitimately life and death. <laughs> but we had university. So like even when I got shot, the hospital was literally a block away. You get what I'm saying? So you went and when I got in, in university, and for those that are not from here, it's an, an amazing trauma center. You get what I'm saying? So you got a hospital right there that some shit really jumps off mm -hmm. and you got a bum-ass hospital and you going through some serious trauma, you might not make it. Whereas another hospital could have saved your life. That shit is deep. Like, I'm so paranoid about it. I want to start giving protocol for niggas that come around. Like, yo, hospitals to the left, run all the lights, mm -hmm. get to the car fast, nigga. Shit's scary. You know what I mean? It, it, it is yeah. scary. It's super spooky. Mm -hmm. Super spooky. Not to start that way. Rest in peace to everybody that we lost. Yes. And here's cheers to the people that we still have. Indeed. Or, uh, I'll that, tell you uh, real quick. Um, so we can get off of all the seriousness. Um, it put it put a, a, a like a different perspective. And I have a family member that I haven't spoken to in about three years. Right. And something happened last week. Involving my pops and it, that side of the family and shit. So it's causing, like, you start to really start thinking about it. When you see people passing away and he's like, you know what? <sighs> These little grudges and shit, like, oh, I'm not speaking to this person. Next thing you know, you can get a phone call like, hey, dogs, such and such ain't here no more. Johnny, now, now, Johnny now, gone. Yeah yeah, 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 now, so I just, if, if y'all can squash certain shit with people, squash it. Agreed. It's just like life is it ain't as precious. Ain't as we always think we got tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But I'm not trying to. And we all hold grudges anybody. for little dumb shit for way too long too. Yeah. And then you be. Nah, going, I ain't like the way he. Nah, you know man. what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that's not a real reason to like cut someone off your life. I don't do that. Good. Nigga. All of that. All of that. <laughs> all of that is true. And I'm happy that y'all was saying it in front of this pod. Speaking for me. All of the people that I have a grudge with, that I don't speak with, it's up. that I have distanced myself from, it's up. all you nasty, dirty, <laughs> low-down, rotten, bum-ass niggas, keep it there. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. But nah, nah, I'm talking about all of them. Nah, yeah, like, I got away for a reason, knowing that mm -hmm. death is in the picture. <laughs> I hear you. I'm good. Okay. Shit. We, we talk about the little shit. I, I'm yeah. talking about he little playing, shit. Yeah. I know, know he's playing, but I, I agree nah, with some of that too. I'm There's some of those yeah. for real. But I'm talking about other times when some of you it's niggas in, you within your family around. and you really could fix y'all could fix that. Right. Well now it's a family. It's family. It's different. That's what I'm talking you know about. Oh yeah, because some, some people really have that You went to university and left with all the trauma. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, come on. Once we start getting in the family, it start getting in this nah, shit. Come nah, on. Nah, nah, I'm just saying, that's like, dogs. and I can't even do it no more because I pieced it up with all, all my family. Oh, that's nice. See, I pieced it up with all my family. That's, that's, that's kind of what I'm saying. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Piecing it up with your family. Shouts to y'all. Now with that, I mean, you, you see, don't have to want to. I mean, you know, you look into it, right? Like when I really, really think about it, and y'all know my dad or, and my mom, family, family, they super family oriented mm -hmm. but right like my dad is got two brothers left from six damn like you gotta really like you age and everybody age so you just look at people and Uncle Walter who might have been annoying when he was 30 
having seizures and I didn't understand what was going on. Now ain't so annoying. And now your role in the family is a lot more important than it used to be. That's right. That. You don't even have the time to whatever existed, whoever side of the family beef you took, you're going to get to the age where, who cares? Who it don't matter no more. It ain't None of it matters. It don't matter. That's true. I don't know we preaching we're gonna teen somebody now. <laughs> nah, but this is adult. Some people that's really just need to hear some of that shit though. Like, cause you get you left with regret and ain't that's the you can't get time back no matter what. The, the so role. so many people that just let shit go unsaid and unspoken and we'll oh you know, we'll we'll cross that road when we get there or something like that. And guess what? You might never get there. That person passed away. No. Now you stuck wondering, damn, we older, we do got the, the leadership role now. Well you can mm -hmm. tell both of them like, yo, y'all stupid. Y'all being childish. You know what I'm saying? Like, now when you was younger, you couldn't really speak out. Right. Now you 40-something. You're like, yo, dog, cut the shit. Mm-hmm. You dead wrong. You did X, Y, Z. It yeah. was your fault. When you was 20, you couldn't say that to them. True. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You right. It be shit niggas not even thinking about no more. Y'all just not speaking over some year years-long beef. That's That shit, it don't even matter to either one of y'all no more. Indeed. So, yes. If you can, just get right with your people. Agreed. Agreed. We can end uh, Adult Summit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to the fuck shit. I don't like that name, Yeah, actually. now. That sounds a little porny. Back to the rest of you niggas. Like I was saying. <laughs> Some of you bitch ass niggas, none of that applies. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Let me stop. Let me stop, man. Oh, the battle, mature, not mature. <laughs> what do I want to do? <laughs> you just gotta, you know. Yeah, a little in and out. Yeah, that's it. In and out. That's it. All right. Uh,. Okay, I'm going to move this thing out the way because we have a very special guest. Mm. So I'm going to move this thing in my jiggy. Early on the guest today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Corey, thank you, man. Fucking muscles finally come in handy. <laughs> All right. We have a very special guest. Let me preface this with, I invited this guest to come join us once again months ago. When his name was low. My name was Low. Round of applause on Joe has done a great job of keeping his name Low in recent months. I know to you guys it's nothing for me. It's an everyday struggle. Hey, look at that. Ah, ah, look ah. at that. Hey, there's a little thing of a jiggy. Yeah, rapper. Okay, we have none other than Rutgers Extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. New Jersey Internet Phenom. Nom. Nom. Cultural captivator. <laughs> Built his empire from nothing without the help and respect of many of you fans out there. And carries a chip on his shoulder that we get to see in moments like this. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Academics. <laughs> Come on. Come on in, buddy. I normally don't even let people join us this early in the pod, but man, you're on fire, man. You know, leave them hanging. Bam, up, double round of applause. Huh? Double the applause. Energy up in here. Energy up in here. Ladies and gentlemen. Man. What's up? Man. I like this, man. Huh? This is a beautiful look, man. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you was here with us before. You know, I'm always pocket watch. I saw, I was I, I was driving down. I haven't been over this side in a minute. Cause <laughs> Yo, you're so cute. Okay, come on. I was looking for the Maybach outside. Yo, who, was you who admits they always? Well, I'm parking the street. I gotta see what niggas. <laughs> they got parking the street. Oh, for real? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo, niggas just come right on and admit to pocket watching. <laughs> nah, I do. I do. I see everybody. Is it fun to do up. though? I, of course. Who you think is winning now? You about the looks of things? Come on. It looks like you kind of winning out here, man. I'm not. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Who else? <laughs> <laughs> Who, Who else? <laughs> I wasn't even including me. Uh, in that, but. I mean, in what space? We talking about podcasts? Yeah, in, about in the space where you pocket watch. And I ain't talking about you looking at Kevin Hart's pockets or The Rock. Yeah, no. Shit. I feel like it, I feel like everybody who's... I don't like your numbers. Last time you came here, you'd be throwing just wild numbers out at everybody. Everybody makes $10 million or better to now, you. Well, 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 people were offended. Shit. You know, I realized when you pocket watch wrong, people get offended. I did it with 21 Savage. I, I told him, I don't think he made over $150 million. And He was very perturbed. You know what I'm <laughs> and I was like, damn, maybe I am a little bit off. But I mean, um, like in a podcast space. I don't think he didn't either. Then. <laughs> 
but he was he was upset. I said, little baby made more than him, and he was just like, oh, they don't like nigga, that. what? They don't like that. They don't like that one. But I mean, in the podcast, <laughs> I feel like everybody get money, man. Like, if we know your name, you're getting money. Or if you have some relevance. Now, relevance is, that's probably what we should do. That's, that's vague. Yeah. Relevance is... Uh, but, I mean, I think... Ain't, ain't the rumor the rumor that Gillian Wilder got that 100 million? Nigga, I'm looking at you! I know, but I've mastered the art of mute. Like, you don't even get Messy it no Joe don't hear it no more? No, 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 no. I can't be messy. This nigga's 70 years old. Yo, Joe, you this used... Is, I can't be messy right Joe now. Joe used to be giving everybody the game on the podcast business, no, basically this and third. No, no more? No, no, no. Hell no. <laughs> niggas, don't, <laughs> hell niggas don't deserve information from Joe. Hell no. Hey, get it how you live it. <laughs> nah, I think they didn't want to go back, though. Get it I, how I, you I, think, I think they getting it, um, you know... But as you pocket watch them, you can see, you feel like... You feel like you can see it? Look, Joe could get it messy at any time. <laughs> I, can, I, I can really well, get it. I'll, I'll, Yo, I'm a messy master. I'm a, I am a master of mess. <laughs> I got to really be around you to see. Look, look, I, let me walk it back. All right, come I on, moving a, on. I seen a couple foreigns, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't see where they're living at, though. So I, I, I take a bunch of things into account. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yo, this I don't is know. so great. Listen, we have much to talk about yeah. with you. I've, I've been up. Where, where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? Do we want to start with uh, you versus the City Girls? It's not me versus the City Girls. But we can start there. Who do you want to start with? Uh, Meg. I'm getting all my Meg Tory coverage from you and Milagro. <laughs> well, we can start. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's, there's no me and or me versus the City Girls. I don't know why people get so triggered by my pain. But this has been the problem since Everyday Struggle. Where, like, I don't know if it's how I'm saying it. I don't know what it is, but I'm saying everything everybody else is saying. Because you don't know how to shut I'll tell you, I'll tell yeah, you why. Because I've been the there. Fuck up. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you say it, it's amplified, so so it's so loud, okay, they can't Because okay. he don't know how to shut the fuck it's up. It's not that. Because it could be somebody saying something a hundred times worse than what he's saying. But when he say something, it hit harder. Trust me, I've been there. I know for a fact. Yo, y'all, I, that's such a... That's such an internet line that the internet came up with. Dog, I'm talking real shit. I'm fuck the internet, like to where. Yes, it, but the other Corey person may from not have over the there reach. could say something, yeah. and it's not the same as Ack with a following or you with a following saying something. That, that's but the, but but what I'm saying is even to build the following, we always everybody started with zero followers, bro. You didn't walk in the game where you at. Yeah, so your so, reputation of outlandish stuff. Built you a following. And what I'm saying... So now you got 10 million followers, so when you say some shit, Rah Rah over there could say something you know, worse. You, you, tra- you, you, be, you be trying to trigger the girls. Here. No, I don't. No. Listen, Cause I made... Because niggas, niggas have babies on girls every day. No, no, hold on. I'm going to be honest with you. The same way I comment, right? And, and again, you know, to even Ice's point, like, I still talk like I'm, I'm that Twitter nigga who probably won't get 10 retweets. And that's probably my biggest... Um, the biggest critique about me, but but it also like the people who watch my shit want me to talk like that too. Like you know, what I mean, if I was coming and cu- and, and like you know disguising what I'm trying to say rather than just say it, like for example, the whole city girls thing, right? I made a vague tweet. I said, "Listen, man, Diddy's a real ass nigga, man." I said, "Yo, he done fucked around, had a side chick, a side baby on the side chicks." I ain't gonna lie, that's hilarious. You can't I, say that. That's funny though. That's what, funny. Why that's you can't? Funny. Say that's that. funny. My that's question. Funny. He had a side ice, baby on the side. Ice and Antoine. Don't hold make on. me turn up on both of you. Wait, wait, hold on, on. By the way, that, that was nameless. That, that's that was nameless. Yeah. That was nameless. I never said no name. Go, yo, but a hit dog funny. will holler. Let me get my shit ready for y'all. <laughs> that wasn't funny. That was funny, man. Having a side baby on your side chicks, man. <laughs> that's funny. So you say, whatever. come on, dog. It's you say whatever you want. That's funny, dog. Come on, Puff is puff. Carisha is Carisha. Mm-hmm. These are pe- people of notoriety nah, this nigga with fan up. bases. Okay. I'm, so I'm you're, not, you're never just talking about them. You're speaking about their brand and to their fan base when you put their name in something. I don't think so. Yes, is. it is funny ish. Okay. But when academics says, just like they got the, the old rappers almost got your ass. They almost said, hey, yeah, it was. You better, <laughs> hey, you better slow down. Yeah, you yeah. better slow down. Yeah, you know, funny, Wade though. is yeah. much to cover with you, buddy. Yo, every time I, I see... Like, I, I might see, lose my card yo, I just see, sitting here now. I, I see at least three legends every time I'm in the airport. 
<laughs> so you know, and, and and I always I did a little the, the little double look, and I'm like, I hope that nigga know I ain't talking about him, right? <laughs> you know they I mean? don't know. <laughs> yeah, they all took it personal. No, but they yeah, friends. They, all did. they friends. Even if you ain't talking about me, you talking about my man. But the same thing, you shouldn't have said. That's true. That why I fuck with you is because well, you just grow more empowered to do exactly what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> it's awesome to watch. No, hold especially on. as I get tamer, it's like, oh shit, act still at it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. We, we we gonna have to deal with and address the, the 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 older rappers thing because that is a conversation. And and by the way, I think that just went all over the place. And but, then you got on YouTube the tongue, tongue in cheek, <laughs> huh? yeah, tongue in cheek. What's kind of tongue in cheek? I was I even know, talking about. I it was, was it was hurtful. I was talking about one guy. Then put a name on that bullet. Yeah. Then you got to put a name yeah. on that I bullet. Shot the club. Yo, I, I saw such back. and such, and he that nigga looked bad and dusty and down on times. I think people know by now who I was talking about. I don't. One I don't. I don't, really? know I don't either. About. Say it. I'll believe it out. You're talking about. Nah, I'm, uh, We're going to believe it out. Come on. Oh. It was the Nigga do look a little dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> we both agree. Hey, and timestamp that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, but he looks. He fucked up. But yeah, no. You should have you put a name on that one. No. I was going to. You but said I, that an LL good yeah. looking ass came. <laughs> Every, and also all of and the. And Big Daddy Kane looks great. All, all the, great the dudes looking. doing great. They jumped out like. And I'm but trying you, to. Yo, what, what, so look, that's uh, like a nigga come and say, yo, all these fucking black podcasters, they all broke, busted, and disgusted. You gonna say something? You gonna say something? No, who gonna say something? <laughs> who gonna, who gonna say you, something? I ain't gonna, I gonna I lie. Know what gonna me. I would probably be like, this you right. A, no, <laughs> except but me. <laughs> like, but what I'm saying is now you included old hip hop. Yeah. Every old nigga in hip hop, you included them. Okay. So now but, I'm gonna come shoot him back. Right. No, no. You act know what he be doing. Yeah, nah, you're, you're, no you're, you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. <laughs> no, but here's the thing, though. That thing that they clipped was, that wasn't even the focus. I wasn't just dissing older rappers. I was talking about NBA Youngboy and like his contract, and I was just like, "Listen, he's going through he's going through the same thing that many rappers have gone through in the past." So I watched the video of that said individual criticized him, like he was like like he was stupid or something like that. And I'm like, you know what? A lot of y'all can't really. I don't feel like I have a leg to stand on because y'all took the same bad deals. Y'all did, y'all did a whole bunch of fuck shit while y'all had the opportunity, and y'all never passed the ball. Y'all never. Pass no game down to nobody, right? And then I was, and then obviously while well, referring to that one person, which I just lumped everybody clearly, I said some of y'all pioneers, you know, what I mean, be looking dusty and broke, you know what I mean? Which obviously just went bigger than you know clearly was intended, and you know what I mean. <laughs> man, I love, I love the legends, man. What I gotta say though, and and, and you smell good. It's Tom Ford. This is you. you this is this is a real. Sweatsuit that you have on, like what not just, you know, you used to wear that for gays and shit. In the what? No, for real, listen, <laughs> no, I just couldn't dress. This shit, you got to come on. No bracelet. I, no, I, o- chain, I only chain. Ice, I'm surprised Ice still got his chain out because you you going crazy right here. <laughs> the hat like, matches. Like, like well, what I'm saying I is, keep it in black now, the man. evolution, the act. Maybe I would fucking keep attacking niggas too. Yeah. Nah, that's not why, man. I, I got w- w- what me um. Just relying on my own platform for the most part to, you know, keep the brand going has allowed me to do is not only do what I want, but it, but it's just stay super authentic to like the audience. And, you know, I mean, you might see me look a little different now because, you know, I, I, I did make a cog- there was a cognizant point or there was a point that I actually you look realized good. that it's rich nigga chubby. It's not the <laughs> mom's basement chubby. You look good. nigga. Well, I had to I had to make a choice to be like, yo, listen, I gotta also show people a little bit that, you know what I mean? Yeah, you might see me just screaming and barking from my two million dollar house. This ain't no basement shit no more. I gotta let y'all know. This is a different level of, you know what I mean, even though I'm doing some of the same things, like for example, streaming, like the lifestyle has also improved a bit. It also encourages other people. So, you know what I mean? I'm not usually not really like usually shitting on people um with it, but I think it's important to show that, you know, there's some um Fruits of my labor. And um, I it's think there's motiv- a lot of people it's going... motivating. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going this route in terms of... I remember when I started on Twitch, you used to laugh at it. Like, shit, you used to be like, man, can we get this motherfucker off of Twitch? Now every rapper is on Twitch. Nigga, I'm on Twitch. <laughs> and As you should. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? But I laughed at everything you did when I didn't know you. <laughs> that is true. Like, when I didn't know you, I didn't understand that. It's just fucking goofball basement bullshit. You, you be but killing then, on Twitch. Huh? You be killed. It doesn't even have to be Twitch. I just think live streaming, it's in itself, is just like a. 
I think it's like the way. Yeah, right but now. you be putting niggas on the screen. You be putting a tweet over here. Oh yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you got a whole you're, you're, you're ensemble of invisible niggas behind that little black drape somewhere. Like, nah, nah. Don't get me on it. I could barely work my phone now. <laughs> Shit. Did you see that episode? Did you see? Uh, I just found out on OnlyFans I could slow the speed down. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 buddy. Yo, you pay for OnlyFans? <laughs> you stop it, man. Yo, Joe, you gotta stop, bro. Really? You don't, nigga. No. If I can't, it, it can't be good if I can't find it on Reddit. It, we, it, we just, it can't be good. Did I not say that it word can't for be word? Good. Word for word. It can't be good. Like, it's on Reddit. If, I ain't if, not paying for the this shit. good shit. Is on Reddit. Now nah, there be some little hidden gems. I, I stop. I, I, I stop. feel you. This little thing that I follow updates every day. <laughs> Six to ten pieces of content. Who you follow the OnlyFans? Oh, you want to see? I definitely want to see. Oh, don't show these. You have a talent for finding some hidden gems, man. I'm gonna see if you. Come on, bro. Got you now. Y'all talk. Say something. Yo, you, you got a been on it? Going. You been on it? Like, I mean, I haven't been on the site, so I've watched the videos that's yeah. been on there, but I've got it off other sites. Other, other, I've other. never like. I, and obviously, cool, maybe something right. with me, right? Like, I feel like if I bring myself to put my credit card on there and I see OnlyFans show up on my statement, this is a different level of down bad. That, <laughs> now, now. It, it, it's, it's a mental signifier. Now you can take that phone, take a second, I'll keep the broadcast going. You can scroll up because I, be purchased, I purchased all of those. <laughs> no so way. you can scroll up, see what's going on, see where I'm taking the culture with this. Now I ain't going to lie, I, you might have a problem. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, when you said you have a why problem, might I, why, but why is that a problem? Tell me, explain to me. Because just even watching, like, please expel. Th th this sounds like some sexual deviant shit right here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you 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 might have some kinks and some shit that's not really worked out yet. <laughs> like, it's no reason <laughs> Joe, you can find this shit on Pornhub, bro. You can find this on Dykeman. <laughs> <laughs> but that that you can find it in real life. So, so what's the point of paying for it? You tell me. To not leave the house. Yeah, and when I'm on my 47th page, yo, you know what? And you know what's funny? Either, page 72. Wait, and you know what's yeah, yeah. 72? And you know what's 72? But wait, <laughs> let me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you. And, and no I wouldn't bother. But the same reason that some of us artists purchase music, <laughs> yo, I'm about to lose the game, lose the culture. Nah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, on, right, you ain't losing nigga. Is this it's the same. The it's, the same it's, it's the same exact reason why I'm going to support a content creator. I was alive and there when our favorite porn stars, hate to get educational now, was trying to take their rights and likeness back from most of the major Bro, porn I'm companies. I'm going to be honest with you, the moment I was Kanye, there when who they, was a billionaire, say he don't even pay for OnlyFans, you think I'm about to pay for OnlyFans? Dog, no, Kanye <laughs> fucked with some of the worst looking white women I've ever seen in my life. He, he, will, he will give me no advice on what to do with women. <laughs> Kanye West will give me zero advice with now, them little anorexic white women. women. It was I, I, give, face. I agree with you. I will say this too. The I porn, agree with that. The, the porn, I agree with that concept. The porn game is kind of trash now. Also. That's because they all right. Listen, I ain't going to teach y'all about this right That's because the shit's winning their Listen, shorts. tell me about the, the trial and the case. Tell me what's going on. Uh, uh, unbiased. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think a lot of so come on because they got you now. Kelsey going to take the stand and say he, and I, I, say he did it. No, I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. She has no choice. Like, yeah, she definitely has no choice. I think she's. I, I called it from like months ago. I think they probably gave her an immunity. You immunity. think she has a deal? Yeah, she gave her an immunity deal. Yo, you got to get up on the stand. You got to point Tory out. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's shocking, surprising to me is that nobody can find a bodyguard. There's four people. You know, I thought Tory needed the bodyguard to say he didn't do it, right? So, so Meg is saying he did it. Kelsey's gonna say he did it, and Tori obviously is gonna say he didn't do it. But the bodyguard, who's the neutral party, we, nobody can find that nigga. Somebody ask, must have paid him off. He left country. Let me ask you a question. They had a problem with uh, the bullet fragments being lost out of the evidence room at the LAPD. Did they find him? Um, not to my knowledge. They're probably gonna bring that up in court either today. They're gonna um, the surgeon's taking a stand. But here's the thing, though. It, it depends on going into this trial. What are you trying to figure out? It's gonna be a I'm not trying to figure out if she got shot. I accept. That. I do think mm -hmm. she got injured as a result of a gun being fired. Mm -hmm. fair. I don't. I don't think that I, she I did not I get agree, injured. I agree with that. I agree with that. Right. So, however you want to, like it, it, again, we could technically say, well, did was it the bullet? Was it a fragment? Was 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 it the shot next to her that broke a glass and she stepped on it? Did she get injured by the result of a bullet being fired? I, I say yes. absolutely yes. Yep. Right. And I then we're all in agreement with that. And after that, now we're at the trial. What are you trying to? What are you trying to figure out? Are you trying to figure out if Tori shot her 
or will Tory be innocent or found guilty? I think those are two different things. Now, whoever who did it, whether it's Tory or not, we don't know if we'll, find, we'll actually get to the truth of that. There's no smoking gun, right? Mm -hmm. But how does the case look for Tory? And that's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I don't know what, what happened. I know people put me on Tory's side, but I'm just going over what they claim is evidence. David. I think this, yeah, this shit just looks sloppy. Mm -hmm. This shit looked forced, rushed. Um, and it looked like even the DA jumped some conclusions. And now we're seeing it in court that, let's just say, just for argument's sake, that Tory did it. At least off of day one and going into this, we're going to see what happened with Meg. You know, Meg's uh, testifying today. Tory might beat the shit, and maybe he did do it. Mm -hmm. So again, what have we been waiting for? Because there's no smoking gun coming. This is he says, she said. Oh well, really, they were fighting over the dick. This, come on now, like it's a lot going on. So, um, the DA just seems like they don't have all their ducks in the order, and, and, and Tory's lawyer is coming with some shit. Man. I agree with him. Yeah, because all, all the defense got to do is create doubt. Yeah, yeah. I That's think that, they don't. They don't have to prove that he didn't do it. They just got to create doubt. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't even think they had. This is my personal opinion. I don't think they had enough evidence to even take him to trial. I think if it was uh, Joe Schmo, mm -hmm. they wouldn't even have went to trial. They would have kicked that shit out because they didn't have evidence enough for him to be um, on trial outside of the yo he shot me, which is probable cause but now when you start going into the scientific shit the fact that from what I heard he didn't have no gunshot residue on him no he didn't he didn't, he didn't. He didn't. A little bit. Did. they said he had a little bit but shorty had the most so if I shoot a gun and we all in one car all of us are gonna have some residue on us but the majority of the residue is gonna be on a person that fired the weapon I'm not a gun no, I'm just, expert. Yeah, no, so. no, 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 you're right. So the fact that he didn't have... Ish is our gun expert, so you know. <laughs> and, Tell us about the residue -ish. No, and the, <laughs> when, I saw, when I saw the um, the footage of them getting pulled out the truck, yeah, he has no shirt on. Mm -hmm. So how the fuck does he have minimal gunshot residue on him? He has no shirt. He's got fucking well, swim off, off, off of this, the uh, Spectre doc, which we just watched and we talked about briefly here, he, he got accused of shooting the girl in his house and he didn't have gun residue on him because for whatever reason the physics of the room it didn't land on him but he was guilty of doing that shit so, so again I'm not no fucking I'm not, not no gun shit, yeah. expert but I have seen this happen where the shooter didn't have no shit on him like he was supposed to gotcha the, the, the case has a lot of holes in it and also just what I've heard you know magically I've been able to procure a few things some information a little bit uh, magically. don't get me in trouble nigga no, no. Oh, okay <laughs> I'm gonna get you in trouble nigga you ain't tell me shit if not for real the judges be like does Zach know something yo, they have supposed to yo don't have the judges call my phone yo Meg wrote a whole fucking affidavit to the court saying that I got information good for you Huh? That's good for you. Should be good for me. <laughs> and that is trying to get trying to get me drawn into her case. Hey, that's my new take <laughs> on this Tory thing too. Yeah. I know a lot of y'all think I'm on Tory's side, but you now, made your mind up though. Now that the trial is here, you made your mind up though. Be honest. No, I'm just a man, so I have certain man senses that come into this. But I pull from this what you did. There is no smoking gun, and we will never know. Even with the verdict, yeah, we're still, not yeah. gonna know. I'm cool with that. I'm also clear that Meg, Meg got injured that night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How? Not my business. But she got injured that night. Now, let's put all of that to the side. Good for Tori. I ain't gonna lie to you. By the way... Good I, for Tori. Put, put me on record as saying, good for you, nigga. What you mean? Because this is... This is the clout chaser's end game. That's what this trial is to me. This is clout, clout chaser Avengers. <laughs> clout chasers Avengers. What do you mean? He should have been fucking that girl. Why not? Wait, which girl? Meg. Go on, we're going to talk for real now. You know a little bit about this, so we could talk. Okay. You ever seen any other girls he fucked? Let's call a spade a spade, yo. Nigga was fucking Meg the Stallion for one reason and one reason only. So? Okay, I get you. So I, I follow what he's saying. Not, that's not so. It is so. If I'm, if, that's if not I, a so. That's accountability. That's not so. That's no accountability. Put your dick where it's supposed to be, and the things that are supposed to happen will happen. You move with ill intention, you're going to get bad intention. If I'm fucking with a girl strictly because she is the biggest pop star in the world or what if biggest she mega star you? in the world, she can pursue me. That's how it happens most times. The niggas be flying the club, mind their business, and now a girl of... Mass fame come and try to holler at you, and now 
you there, not because this is who you went to, but because... You can't blame Torf. Nobody's turning that down. Dope. Nobody's turning no, it No, there are some that's people that true. would turn it down, but... That's not true. But, but, but this had all the... And, and, this, this, is not hind, and this is in hindsight, of course. This is hindsight speaking. This had all of the makings of disaster gumbo. So let's really examine it. Because all I think of when I watch this circus, because this is a circus. It's a circus. It is. This is a circus. <laughs> yeah, now you're like, right if I'm that. a tax-paying citizen, <laughs> and this is the fucking trial that y'all have been leading up to for years, to know we're not going to get no truth from it, one... Okay, and two, for the opening arguments to go the way they did, yeah. dance, bitch, dance. I watch the news every day. And all of the murder and shootings that happen, I never get subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> you just playing with me now. <laughs> I never get the conversation leading up to it, after it, or during. I just get the violent part. Niggas in the Bronx just started shooting at 1 o'clock 1 in the afternoon. They ain't say nothing about how it happened. You ain't hear no one-liner? I didn't hear a thing. So, right, y'all giving me the theatrics of it with Dance Bitch Dance. The lead detective has a domestic violence case, so he, now prosecution, don't want to call him. But the defense want to call him. Yeah. That makes sense. The handling of the evidence by their own admission is sloppy. Little, they, little pieces of paper. So they can't they even keep up. Lights. They can't even keep up with the trail of blood that should be there. Y'all are playing audio in the and y'all playing audio from of gunshots from a ring camera <laughs> in court. I'm not here. Hey, I'm not here to play with y'all no more. <laughs> I'm not. I know it's gotta be some type of footage. Somewhere. Y'all are playing audio. That's what I was thinking about. Ring is LA? No, if y'all playing, Somebody no, we it. at trial now. So whatever is here is here. If it ain't no footage, ain't no footage. That means we got ring camera and pop, pop, pop. That means we don't have Tory Lanez doing that. This is the part that really ended me. The hammer was found in the slide position, which means the he dumped was, the whole yeah, clip. The clip was empty. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw my laptop in the fucking uh, Hudson. That's what I'm going to do. Now what y'all telling me is they are in the car. <laughs> she said, your music trash. See, that's the first smack in the face in y'all's story. We in the car, your music is bad, and now all hell break loose. You get out, your friend get out, I get out, and dump the whole thing. <laughs> I'm just telling you what they said. This is not joke. That's why the prosecutors... Let me wait, 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 no, 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 it gets worse. No, 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 let me finish. I dumped the whole thing. Bah, 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 bah. There's an injury. Meg gets injured. And she's run, going away now. You telling me that injured Meg, who just got shot, is able to elude the nigga that's shooting her? Okay, cool. He starts coming toward Meg. Kelsey now turns around. And intercepts him. Intercepts. Wait, so this bitch gets fucking Bravery of the Year award. <laughs> he, just, he just dumped the whole clip. Kelsey Wick. I have a fucking brain. I'm sorry. I can't do this for another year. <laughs> so he dumped the whole clip, and you now going to intercept, even though you was just beefing with Shorty. So cool, you intercept. No. This little five-foot-one nigga mushes you to the ground. Socks are out. Socks are out. <laughs> In the pictures... That's the story? She looks fine. Yeah, that's the story. That's, that's yeah, the, yeah that's grabbed the her by the story. hair, swung her around. You never around. got charged for hitting the best friend, but now in, in opening statements, the prosecutor, <laughs> prosecutor says that after he shoots Meg, he's, he's like walking up on her like he about to walk her down type of situation. The best friend says, yo, stop. Jumps in front of him. He socks her out. Now, as a black man that has gone through the legal system a little bit, I can tell y'all YouTubers how that goes. I'm charged. Every single charge that they could charge me with That's true. is going to be there. For some reason, that didn't happen. She's never also said that he ever hit her. That Assaulted night. her, right? Yeah, yeah he's never, she's never mentioned, she's been on live <laughs> talking about it. She's never said that Tori did anything to her. I got my own theories, but I'm going to save them. But I what I can them. say... Uh -uh. I, I got some theories, but too. But what I can say, I'm finished with these niggas, and I don't like that girl. What I'm, I'm, man, I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. You told Gail King you didn't fuck him. That, we that, all, that, we that all know where... you, we all know you fucked him. The yeah. first line in for the prosecutor's statement, uh, opening statement. Yeah, they had an intimate relationship. 
Now I see people arguing with me about semantics. Well, intimate doesn't mean sex. I'm like, fuck, you can't get. Well, you because, can't, well, you because, can't, well, you because, can't really win in this, in this world, you know well, what I mean? Because the way are, they said it could mean that they were intimate before. That's what how the prosecution introduced that. It's just to sneak it in. Defense is like, no, we had an ongoing relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, Bo- with both of them. Yeah. So now, men again. This is my 19th time telling men out there, use your mend- menness. Use your men sensor brain. Now, I've seen Tory while out, so I ain't vouching for him either. That little nigga got a temper problem. <laughs> So he could have very well hopped out and just start shooting all in the sky. I don't know none of these niggas, so I'm not vouching for it. I'm just saying, the way this sounds, stop it, yo. Nah, stop it. Because now at this point, it's, it's, everybody here is okay now, thank God. Mm-hmm. Thank God. But at this point, it is just a matter of he say, she say, let's see who can make who look bad and who can make who spend more money. They not even in it for justice now. I, I had a conversation yes, with someone bah, who, who basically said, listen, so? the only reason they're not why, in this for justice. They're, in justice. they're not nothing about this says they in it for justice. I don't think the court, the police department. Nobody. I think the DA's trying to say well, I, I heard, you know, again, magically, that uh the DA offered a plea. And this new charge that he got um was basically what the plea was gonna be. He was gonna have to plea to just discharging a weapon. But that would put, you know, obviously his status as a, uh, that would be a year and a day. So mm-hmm. th- that would put his, you know, ICE going to pick you up and you won't get deported. So, you know. See, I thought it was more to that new charge being added too, but I didn't have any additional yeah. detail. But that uh, new charge and how it was worded, I came in here and said, y'all ever heard that charge? The, bigger than that, they're not giving you a plea deal right before you start trial if they think they can win trial. Right. Yeah. yeah. They've, they've yeah. talked to you We've about We've spent before. a shit ton of money and resources from the state of California to prosecute this kid. We're going to look stupid as hell if we don't get a conviction. Well, and now, well, now it's about saving face, right? I, so, like, I, 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 even with this... All exactly. parties. All yeah, parties. All exactly. Yep. They need some type yes. of conviction. Yeah. Some we type make of conviction to, to kind of be like, well, you know, because it, in reality, once you start hearing the case and even how they're presenting it, so so sloppy all throughout. You basically realize they seen this is on ABC News. The, the helicopters above. This is a famous rap star. We, we got him. We got this nigga that got injured. Mm-hmm. They have to do something. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And all of it just seems. I mean, if I'm going off the prosecution, it, all of it just seems like they have a lot of circumstantial evidence mm-hmm. that they want to be taken in as yeah. fact. Like they keep drilling down this. He called and apologized. Now it take men a little while to learn that society views an apology as an admission of guilt. Yeah. That's not how we were raised thinking an apo- apology is damn, it was, I fucked up and I'm holding myself accountable. They keep trying to drive this home saying he know he did it because he apologized. That don't tell me that don't tell me much is all. By the way, I got a theory that says that Tory would not have gotten charged until Meg said the day Meg went on live because he got charged right after that. The day Meg went on live and said, "Hey, Tory did it." I think they were reviewing the case, realized they don't have enough without the witness actually saying it. The witness don't say it, which I don't think Meg at first was trying to say it, right? Without her saying it, and now after you say it, you got to take the stand, which right. she's doing today. Basically. I don't think they would have filed charges. The the moment when, when she said it, they're like, well, you already said it publicly. You might as well just come to court now. Yeah, you got to say it. So now they can charge him. Mm-hmm. But before then, keep in mind, they, they, they had all these things. And they couldn't come to the conclusion to charge him before I'm going to just do a little bit of speculating because the trial's in, in process, in progress. Uh, I want to know if the defense attorney or defense attorneys are going to corner Megan on the stand with her perjuring herself. She showed up with, with like three lawyers. I, I, I got to imagine they went over every possible question and all her social media comments. Because if they're bringing up all the social media stuff, then everything is in play. And mm-hmm. plenty of times in social media, you said, my back was turned. Yeah. Now you can definitively identify your shooter. There are a few inconsistencies with her social media stories and what's been coming out in court. Yes. If the defense attorneys can somehow bring all of that to light, which it seems like they might, yeah, yeah. Then awesome. Two, I also want to know if in cross examination to Kelsey, if they can ask her about any existing uh, deal that she has in place. 
with prosecution. They probably are going to ask you, but, but for, she for, takes a for, stand for, today for too? immunity. Uh, not what? today, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, gotcha. Um, they're um, they're definitely going to put Kelsey versus Meg because when Kelsey went live, she said certain things, and when Meg also went live, um, Meg was Meg either alluded to or basically said, "Yo, she got paid off by Tory." Yeah, right. She did. Then Kelsey said, "I never got paid off." Right. Mm -hmm. So again. A lot of a lot of that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a lot of the shit that again, I'm not necessarily going to accuse Meg going live and explaining as some some shit for clout, but all of those public explanations they and all tweets, was clout chasing. All, all of that, all, all of them tweets is coming back because Tory's Tory's uh, his defense team, all they got to keep asking or just contradict whatever they're going to say on the stand, mm -hmm. be like, well, you didn't say this all live, exactly. You already basically gave a statement. Yeah, but that's not legally binding. I don't think. No, no, you're right. You're oh, right. But it's no, but you're still. It's still going to put doubt in the mind of a juror. It's still back to speculation and hearsay. No, no, it's it's, it's going to put doubt in the mind of a juror. You go say yeah. something like, well, yo, well, my well, back was turned. Even bigger than that, even bigger than that, if you have a witness, it? especially if you're doing a cross, if you got a witness on the stand, the first thing you want to I let, let the juror know, she's a liar. They're not credible. Credibility, not, yeah, yeah, credibility is it? That's, you that's, already lied about that's having why sex I did with a detective. Them. I'm gonna give you six, seven lies. You could tell the truth eight times. Exactly. If I show that you lied three times, now your credibility is in question. That's right. I'm sure they'll have some uh, some way to counter that. I mean, again, she, she's going up against like you know some top tier. Hold up for a second. Just want to play this audio from the live stream, the pool party. We had to come. Oh, um, we had to come kill the streets. For, for five minutes. I'm not gonna keep letting up off the point that this is the clout chase of Royal Rumble. I'm not. You said what? Yeah, I think because you you because you, you, you fucking kids need to see and realize when the domino effect is happening with your clout chasing. Hey, forget about my point with him shouldn't have been dating that girl. Even though I stand by that, he shouldn't have been dating her. They shouldn't have been at her house. You said they should. They shouldn't. Kylie Jenner shouldn't have been there either. Neither. None of y'all know her. I'm going to keep drawing lines between real life rules this is, this is the, and internet rule. Yo, the hot yo, listen, party over here. I, we see it happen all the time. So enough is enough. You got a little bit of mix going. You got a little bit of mix going. You go outside to a spot with a little bit of mix. And now you are open to the mix, sure. which yeah. is networking, linking, and building mm -hmm. the girls. Yo, what you doing tomorrow? I, 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 day party over here. Yo, come by, swing by my place. Yo, I got this. I got, it's a bunch of niggas, a bunch of empty souls auditioning for shit. It's what it be. So mix gets mixed. This whole shit is mixy. But you're saying that as a 42-year-old... Um, no, no, I'm saying that as somebody that has been in it and lived it. And I, plenty, plenty of nights I've been in L.A. and shorty and shorties was like... A comedian said this recently. And Shorty and Shorties was like, hey, come by, ah, 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 threesome, how we play, what's up, hookah, drink, ah, ah, ah. No. But, 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 but no. I'm not leaving Stop my laundry on. That does Stop not, capping. No, 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 he's not, he not staying at the laundry on. You're not staying at the laundry on watching nah. OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, Stop. 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 It's, it's important that hey, I, it's hey, important hey, that I drill not, this home. You're telling the truth. But, but not, it's important I drill this home because in entertainment, it's too many people getting money. And it's a lot of money. That shit is coming in waves. So we not thinking about what our actions are doing, right? And I'm having this conversation with a business owner. You're right. Mm. So when we go on tour and niggas hit the road thinking it's ah, 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 no, it ain't. Sit your fucking ass in that hotel room at two in the morning in the random city where you don't know the street niggas, the gangs, the clubs, the movers, the shakers, Facts. the escorts, the girls. You don't know nothing. As someone who's toured with him for 15 years, that he's that's not, not cat. That's not cat. Sit down. Joe would you niggas be took y'all little hot running? asses. Uh, 27, 20, I don't know. I don't know. He's 27, he's 28 now? Who? Tory Lanez. I think Tory He might 30. be older now. So he was 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then. You 28 years old. You're an up and coming musician. You, it's just provocative. So I, whatever me, you about to say, I, I agree. It's yeah, tempting. Yeah, it's like, tempting. Yo, and, and you can't say, yo, he shouldn't have been there because conversely, even though I know you personally and I know you turned down pussy, dog, it's still times where me and you would be at a pool party in Alpine and it's mad mixy and under the same guise. It's also one of them things where we've done that. You so, get what I'm saying? So, so hold up, let me finish. So, right. yeah, yeah, you I was going, yeah. no, uh, we're not even arguing. You pick and choose better than most. But no, we just. But there have been times where we would end up at a spot like that, and we could have gotten some shit. Fact. 
So I'm, you can't say he shouldn't have been there but as a 28 you, year old man on an up and coming rise in LA. And Kylie Jenner and Meg Thee Stallion I invite can't, you to the I can crib. say it because in the great words of Marty from Ozark, or that maybe that was his wife. There was too many chances to say no. Why would he you, say no? You, they, I mean, if he's thinking about it, there's a million reasons to fucking say no. Mm, we I can guess. start with I'm fucking Kelsey. And Meg. No. I'm fucking Kelsey. And Meg. That I mean, came later. That came later. No. He was fucking Kelsey first. He was fucking Kelsey first. It's okay. a fact. It's true. So if we just thinking on, on nigga rules. But he was fucking Meg more recently, though. You're bugging. Yeah, like as, as nigga time, rules, fam. You stop no, it, no, yo. No, no, I, if, I get what you say. Stop. Let me talk to him now. If you're fucking a girl, that's who you're fucking. Mm -hmm. And her finer friend, or let's not say finer friend, but more popping friend, you later find out wants to give you something. I'm not saying you're not going to do it, but there's a whole lot you got to think about as a man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you True. can't be at the same family with both. So what, especially if they don't know. <laughs> and I'm gonna and wait, wait. Yeah. And you gonna take both of them to Kylie Jenner house, knowing hey, I might want to pop her. Yeah, you know. Okay. And and all I'm not, saying not, is, and as we, a man, you got to think about this. He was he was moving crazy. And niggas gonna be drinking yeah, too. Stop it, yo! As men, we got to point this shit. Nigga was moving loco out here. Nah, he was. He was. Nigga was moving nuts. He was moving with his arrogance. Like all fucking, he moved with that quarantine radio arrogance. All man. these niggas do that. Then don't lose your arrogance when she tell you your music ain't good. <laughs> no, you be arrogant. Go home. No, but this go. The, home. But no, this is the funny Damn, part, bitch. No. And, and go, no, go no, ahead on about your But this is the funny part. They said that yo, he was chilling. Kylie Jenner was trying to was flirting with him, and she got upset. Yeah. So it hurt people, hurt people. So now you feeling stupid because it's a bigger star than you here. That's on my dick. So now your way that you shoot at me is to say, nigga, that's why your music is trash. Hey, cool, hey, my wait, music wait, trash, hold but I'm fucking there, you. Hold up, that's, that's, that's hold up, what it is. Hold up, my act. music is trash, no. but I'm fucking you and you. No, he's so right. is my music really Think trash, I, bitch? I, I want to add this to you when I'm to your point when I'm talking about clout chasers. And this be the problem. If you do it once, you do it again. So if I'm clout chasing with Meg and now a Kardashian comes by and the fireplace is lit by the indoor pool with the 1942 going around, Meg who? Yeah. So I'm back on my shit. Or oh, Meg might just you, be the Hey, man, you don't do that when we end up in the spots where we move like them niggas. When we end up in them places that, hey, we might not have should have been at, we moving like them niggas with diligence. True. We ain't just loosey goose. But Joe, it's we coming from a different upbringing. We are coming from, we've seen shit happen to people. This boy is a 27-year-old millionaire, 28-year-old millionaire that thinks he has no cares in the world. I ain't gonna lie. I think you put ninety nine percent of people in that Men position. In that and, position, and, and they you, do the you, same thing. And you see, granted, he shouldn't have been there. You should have been there with those two, knowing that one don't know that you're fucking on the other. That was always gonna be a fight. These, That's a fight waiting to happen, but right? However, mess. if you're some in that mess. room and you in a mixy room. And you see the like the social media clout queen. You see I'm the girl you, with the most followers on Instagram and the love? planet, and she's flirting with you in the pool. My nigga at 28 years old, you, go. you fucking Meg, Yo, you Kelsey going. don't know. You, you fucking Kelsey, Meg don't know. You already think you the man. Yeah. You are, and they the homies. Like, these my homies. They, I don't go with them. They my homies. We fucking, we've had girls that we casually fuck. You know better than that. I, I, you know better than I know better than that I at, definitely at 46 say, years old. I, I don't know say, if I know better than that at 28 and I got a shit ton of money and I'm a star. I don't know if I have the same discernment. I'll tell you one thing that's interesting, like even in how the prosecutors present the case. Remember, they start off with, oh, yeah, they, they're, at a they're at a party and now they're in the car and now he insults or she insults his music. They forgot the whole, they're not even trying to paint the picture of they're at a party. Meg is she flips belligerently out. drunk. Yes. And gets All of out. these people are very right. intoxicated. So now, this impairment, this this impairment is it, it, obviously going to be affecting everybody's judgment. Niggas is hey, 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 wait, hey, wait, if we, alcohol hey, and if we really going to have this talk, which we are not, because this is a public broadcast. In the event that in your scenario, we go somewhere and the girl that's super, super popping is on us, but let's say she's a little tipsy. Mm-hmm. And let's say a couple niggas from the town beat. Mm -hmm. And a couple niggas from the town let us know your dog when that when she get when she gets she go it gets like we have those talks as men mm -hmm. mm -hmm. absolutely more reason to just move with a little more dick now hold on I'm I'm interjecting <laughs> more now. hold on and, 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 and wait 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 add the fact that he probably drunk too mm -hmm. you ain't thinking like that he's a cooler drunk. 
He's a cooler drunk. He's a cooler drunk. Yo, we throwing a shit. We throwing a shit ton of variables in again. I am not. I'm acting like you give him. You give him a lion's share of blame for just being there. Being there, dog. The lion's share of blame I can give him is if he actually accused of domestic violence. You have to go home and figure out guilty or not how you got in that spot. That's true. That is true. That's okay. not even the no, domestic nothing violence. Else, thing. That's, that's nothing any, else. Any yeah. bad situation you get in, where, you where go you home. When I've been in a cell, and I'm thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? I shouldn't be here. Da, da, yeah, da, da, da. I, when you in a hospital over some bullshit, you sitting there and you beating yeah, yourself up. Yeah. If you're the type of person to take accountability for your actions, I should have did this. I went wrong here. I went wrong here. I should have gotten a cab. Yeah, Something that's told it. me to leave. You go through all of and those scenarios. I'm not trying to be and hard way, on What him. I'm saying is to him the, being 28 years old, he ain't wrong for being at a popping pool party in L. With the stars, and I'm a star. Well, one one thing about that is, at 28, he's already been popping for a little minute, so this is not his first rodeo of being around. Hold on, which means this might be normal for him. Yo, to both y'all point, this is why I contextualize that I'm sorry that he supposedly said to both of the women. Sure. To say, oh, listen, yo, I shouldn't have said I realized that to you. I was bugging. I shouldn't have done. I was, nothing. I was bugging. Yeah. I shouldn't even been now, present over there. Now, now it's going to be up to interpretation because somebody, because other people going to be like, nah, he apologizing for shooting the gun. Sure. In reality, if you think about everything you're saying, he's probably saying, "Yo, listen, I, I did put you in a position where there was going to be some Any type of fight. Any real man is going to send an apology Duh, afterwards. I should have never fucked Kelsey behind your back. I yeah. should have never mm-hmm. fucked you and didn't tell you that I already fucked Kelsey. Yo, my bad. Mm-hmm. I played a part in us getting where we are. I agree. I agree. But... They gonna spin it. I think if I was the fucking prosecutor, I, I would spin it. What you apologizing I, for? I think that Meg's credibility is about to take a major hit in the, in, the, in the coming weeks because I don't think they're gonna play with her up there. Well, well I will. Here's the thing, and I, th- I think they're gonna really get into it. And that's the scary part about trial. Trial. It's not the result. I don't think the prosecution. It's, it's, that's why the cause to go is gonna trial. be so important, though, because I'm telling you, Meg gonna give a. a, 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 a I don't want to call it a performance. Oh no, but no, them, no, no, them no, tears no, no. Gonna it's gonna coming. Come. It's coming. Them tears gonna no, come. Facts. Trust and believe. Facts. Take your time, man. Let me get you some tissue. Yeah, it, it's got to be. It got to be one of my Amber questions. Are still my fucking questions. It got to be when one of Amber Heard. When you wipe your tears, joints. I'm back on your ass. I, I, it got to be one of them Amber Heard. However, you see what happened to her, don't you? Yeah. No, Meg gonna give it to him. She's a she performer. Be, that's why. That's why I believe the defense she, attorney got to go she crazy. She performs. By the way, she told him she's only available today and tomorrow. So it's only, you know, which obviously they'll, that's why she's coming in today. She, she gave them a schedule saying, I'm only free for two days. You know what I mean? And, and that's why she's in today that possibly if, if, say, the prosecution takes the entire day today. They could. Right? The, the defense will get tomorrow to, you know, finish up and kind of do their cross. But. And let me tell you something. And if defense does not finish tomorrow, if the judge don't make her come back on Thursday... All hell gonna break loose in that courtroom. I agree too. Fuck you talking about. You I don't schedule too. the yeah, court's days. Tell, yeah, I, I can only be here yeah. this day. Fuck it, what? This is your charge. You, you, we doing it for you. Yeah, the, nigga. This shit is gonna be. This shit better it's than all the other trials that, dog, that we've it's seen. It's a lot televised. of money behind her, yo. That, that's all it I kept saying. It is a shit ton of money behind her. You, you can see. You, know you, you can see. They've been prepping all of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I thought was interesting. Moment. Even that um, Chris Jenner's, uh, I don't know if it's her husband or boyfriend, he's about to take it. I, I think yeah, Corey Gilmore. Corey. something got to be in the ear because you, you, you got to realize Chris Jenner's really shrewd operator. Mm-hmm. Allowing somebody, even if it's Kylie or. In a circle to even get. To get on the stand. Sure. They could have fight that, that subpoena. For that sure. weak ass right. subpoena, they could fight it. Yeah, You're right. sure. You get what I mean? Sure. So even if that happens, what that tells me is that despite all the back and behind Meg, which we have now realized, you know, even Tori himself said, Hey, listen, two days after this shit happened, Rock Nation called me. Said, nigga, I heard you about to make a statement. It would be in your best interest not to. So th- there is a lot of, there's a lot of interest that align with mm-hmm. Meg also coming out of this not looking like a liar. Victorious. There's a lot of interest. Or, or even if you, if, you, if you the money behind Meg, even if you get a hung jury, it still says, I was, I was telling the truth. It was just a mistrial, but I was still telling the truth. So the money could still keep pouring in. Actually, more money might pour in. It's in their best interest to not have this boy get found innocent. Because a mistrial still has it up in the air. Maybe I'm telling the truth, maybe I'm not. Mm-hmm. It still raises, I mean, it raises a doubt mm-hmm. of what took place. It's in everybody's best interest monetarily to have this boy not be found innocent. Is there, is there a scenario where... I mean, be found... Where Tory, six, six don't try. 
Huh? The, the, where Tory gets found innocent and people say it's like one of them like R. Kelly trials be like, yo, nah, that nigga still did it. We're yeah, like, absolutely. Oh no, that's no there, there, there's a wave that's yeah, already, that's they don't care what this trial says. I would say that's actually pretty likely. Yeah, that's, that's true. Really? Fact, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But yes. I, I think the more realistic scenario is what Ish is painting where it ends up being a up in the air. No, no one will ever know. Everybody. I actually feel like if Tory gets off of this case, mm-hmm. I think I think Meg's credibility, I think a lot of people are going to move a little bit differently. I think, that's I think, the thing I think that's scary. It's, 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 you go I, I to think, trial and realize you win nothing. I think it's the opposite. I think, I think they've been prepping for that. All of the cleaning up her image and all of the documentary and all everything they're pushing is to paint her in this light that no matter what happens here, this is who she is. This is the thing. If she gets on the stand and to use um, Amber Heard, if they do to her on the stand what they did to her, it's a wrap. I don't think so. It's Listen. too much money behind her. I know. That, she, I bro. know she gonna say what it takes. She said she want to see that nigga under the jail. That's what she said. That's what she said. It's too much money. That's, and that's not true. Why, and at that, the end of the day, she is still a victim, like we said at the beginning of this whole shit. Yes, so yes, I think yes. that she some, she'll yeah. be fine, no matter what. I don't realistically. I think if they get up there and they catch her in some lies and she start double talking and all of that stuff. Bro, this is the she, internet age. She getting on that stand with hundreds and thousands of hours of practice. Probably. Mm-hmm. Hey, but I was having a comments- fuck up. You ain't under under pressure to you. When them lights come on, it can go bad. Nigga, we've yeah. all practiced a million hours of football and, and I, basketball until yeah, it's game seven. But I also don't think that her her demographic and her fan base and where they're gearing her demographic and fan base to gives a fuck. This is not like that's street what rappers know, going against. Do. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. You think I'm, Disney Channel gives a fuck? Oh no, no. Okay, okay. okay maybe, cares. maybe not like that. What I'm trying to say. I have seen a lot of what I would believe her intended core audience, which is a lot of women. Mm -hmm. I've seen them kind of go from blindly support to say, maybe this ain't what it is. And I'm just seeing more and more people even raise an eyebrow to it where I I think this trial is probably going to push those people to say that maybe we were misled. I've seen the opposite of that. I've seen them pretty steadfast. I've seen the opposite. They still saying she, because... Well, the one fact we know is she still got injured. Yeah. Exactly. So she is still a victim, and yeah. that's all they going off of. They don't but, care about the yo. She's still a victim. She still got shot. If she still got well, shot. which is true though. Well, well, well that got true. turned up though. Not again. Nobody's discounting that she's a victim of something that happened at mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. But victim she is, of is important to note. She she has squarely <laughs> said that he nigga shot did. me. Yeah. So, so if it so, comes out that that girl Kelsey shot her, my nigga, I think her credibility yeah. is shot, and I think her career may be finished. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I just, I don't. Kelsey taking the stand for Meg when we know that she don't fuck with Meg does spell that it's something. Might some, um, yeah. be something. Some got to be a deal. Got to be a deal. Mm-hmm. Some yeah. spiciness, especially when they wasn't. Even beat. when you hear her explain it, she say, "Yo, shit!" Like it doesn't even sound like it, it sounds like she says, "Yo, it shouldn't have got this far." Like when she was explaining this whole thing and be like, "Yo, hey, listen, Meg." And by the way, goes to contradict and kind of you know makes Meg's credibility like. Waver a little bit when she's like, yo, listen, you the one that keep taking my nigga. You know what I mean? Like, she said it. She actually said it. And Ben, so, you know what I mean? ben Simmons, you know what, buddy? <laughs> nah, Ben say you don't know that woman. Your man. name just, you know. <laughs> ben said? Yeah, well, well, it was supposedly confirmed to source that he don't know her, but he put up the, the, the thing the where Rick thing. Ross was saying lies or whatever the case yeah. is. Yeah, but if you even did that too fast. Clout chasey <laughs> ass. I'm telling y'all, when you can identify these clout chasing nah, ass not clout. niggas, not clout. he got too many problems on the actual basketball court. He don't want to be involved in no other courts no right parts now. No shit. other courts, man. Yo, do y'all think the people that are super uh, wealthy and important don't hear things that are said about them? Yeah, but the, like Nets, on the, internet? the Nets is out here suspending niggas. I want to <laughs> separate myself from any of this shit. Yeah. Lies. I did not have sexual fam, you relations with that woman, fam. <laughs> you bugging. And if that's where Ben Simmons' priority is, then bro, got it. We, Joe, he's and, another bro, one. Yo. And what? What? what add him on my list, bro. And what <laughs> we saying? Hey, my hate list. I hate all these niggas. There we go. No, I, I hate this Brace that niggas. shit. Bugging, there we yo. go. I hate him. Hold on. I hate him. I hate him. He's twenty. How old is Ben Simmons? Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Ish. You keep thinking these niggas is kids. Twenty-seven is a man. Twenty-seven. You grew up in the internet age where when shit gets said about you, you respond to it. You have to. You that's, respond that's, to that. That's the way. That's the way. We don't. Me. I don't think that should ever enter our conversation. No, but you're saying he clout chase because he said lies. 
I'm saying he's clout chasing because there are 97 trillion things he should be focusing on outside of replying to something that's happening in a court case. Shit, my nigga, my it's name the, is... It's the biggest court yeah, case the in the country court case. right now. And I now, out of nowhere, and I have a girlfriend. I wasn't mentioned at all. I have this. a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. That's I the takeaway from day one. Like, dog, I think the he got a girlfriend. Me, I he responded rather quick, though. I, I will yeah. say, like, he responded Man, so I'm quick. Responding immediately. He, immediately. I think immediately. he has a fiance or a girlfriend that two years ago, three years ago, he might have been involved with. Boo, I don't know these girls. It wasn't me. Listen, his quick response tells me that he popped. <laughs> <laughs> no, he definitely fucking popped, which is nasty. Yo, I'm surprised. Shooting everywhere, but where you? I'm, su I'm surprised the baby is not on the witness. Got a lawsuit against one team. Went to another Yo. team. Won't do shit over there. Like oh, I, hate, I hate this. Thing. And message. I like his no. girl too. Man. I like his girl. I bet you do. Yeah, yeah, no, was, she's super cool. Super who's his cool. Girl? I'm, I'm not gonna say. See, that's how you get niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get niggas. <laughs> nah, nah, yo, I'm surprised the baby down the witness list. Hmm. Apparently, Meg fucking them both at the same time. He's smashed the night before. Maybe. maybe he knows something. I'm bringing that nigga on the stand, man. Let's, and let's he said he kind of hinted to that in the summertime. Yeah. We seen what he does with microphones in front of him in an <laughs> yeah, important, important come moment. On, man. You think we putting him on the stand right now? And another thing about these games. <laughs> nah, <stop. laughs> Let me tell you what, what you know, they cut me off nah, before. <laughs> Let me tell you what else they be sucking dick. I had some more to say. <laughs> Yo, y'all play with my yeah. man, baby, man. Rosa oh, Parks is a plant. <laughs> Yo. You start giving niggas mics. Hey. They just start saying Yo. whatever. Let me, let me throw this, the this, baby this on into a the stand. air, right? I think number one, the black ball for Tory kind of start letting up. Um, yeah. Slightly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I've seen that. However, if he gets off this case, does this catapult him in probably a new level of his career where his music probably couldn't get there by itself? Not saying he's not talented, he's definitely way talented, but it's gonna now, if he gets off being the guy who was crucified, and say people actually really believe that, oh, Meg just lied on you, and you've lost out on all this, that, and third, he's now, he's gonna come back into people's good graces, but does it put his career in a different stratosphere of maybe he'll gain support from people who may have not fuck with him in the beginning? Unfortunately, I don't think so. I don't see that one. I don't see that happening? Yeah, I don't see it happening. I think, I don't see if, that. if that is indeed the case, I, I think people will still be on some, well, let's fuck him anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really? Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. His music is already fire. Yeah. So... Two or three smashes, though. I, I tell you what, though. I've told if people he, who he, believe if, that he'll be the the biggest he's ever been. Well, 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 well I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you this, though. If he do get acquitted, whatever he come out with, he's going to talk his shit for real. Because he's been, he's been wanting to talk his shit on the record for a minute. He's been trying to. He really going to get to talking then. Now this is over and I can say something? Okay, watch We're gonna this. get a triple disc. That, yeah, that might be true. <laughs> oh, no, he's coming. He might have the shit written yeah, on. Them niggas snatch. <laughs> You can snatch R. Kelly shit right off the stands. <laughs> you won't profit off this, buddy. How did that shit come out? And niggas said that, this that, shit that's is what fire. They won't tell us. What? Ish. No, I'm saying they was like, "Yo, <laughs> dog, your man Joe." I don't look. They like, "Yo, Joe, tell Joe this shit smoking." Tell Joe, no, don't tell Joe. Okay, was this shit fire though? I didn't hear a thing. Come on, man. I yo, stopped But what I heard, I, I mean, I was bumping that shit in the shower. I'm going to keep it up. <laughs> greatest, greatest songwriter in the history just forgot how to write a song. Look, <laughs> I ain't like the bullshit they tried to pull. Yo, this is a fake. This wasn't supposed to drop. Yo, that I'm was, gonna be honest, I wasn't though. rolling that with that. That was a new heat. <laughs> they took the little old, the I Admit It record, broke it up into three parts, because that shit came out in 2018. That, that nigga was describing what I was doing out. in my house. And it was all in you legacy. You go into the Keurig right now. I can see if it came out with some bullshit, I'd be like, oh yeah, someone just By the way, Joe, you definitely gave a... You gave a 360, well not 360, 180 on, on tour. I feel like at first you were like, man, Tori did this shit. I swear I was listening to the podcast mm. one time. You were like, man, I was in the shower and I had to hop out of the shower and turn that shit off, man. He might I man, I don't know. I'm not vouching for it one way or the other. Nah, but, but Do we, I think that he did that? Hold on. With but, the intention to harm Meg the Stallion? I do not, I do not believe that. I'm not I don't of, believe that. I'm not one of the people who be like, that. yo, yeah, I can't listen to music because he accuses some shit. I don't believe that it's he pulled a gun out when it comes to that and intentionally tried That's to it. harm Nobody one of else. the biggest rappers no in the world. Yeah, I just went to a wedding, man. I, I, I had to, and surprise, it was my brother's wedding. All of a sudden, they're like, yo, listen, you find a DJ, you got a DJ. And I'm like, I'm trying to put together a, a little list for like Dude, the. Step, step, nah, step, step. Yo, can Boy, we just get like rid of that myth right now, yo? What? You dropped the DJ from your name, right? Now it's just academics. Uh, it's whatever. I don't care. 
Like, it, don't, it, don't, it used to bother you, me. Vlad, like, nah, I don't like, yeah, you, Vlad. Yeah, yeah. Just I'd rather people call me just academics. You know there what I mean? There we go. I'd rather people call me academics. And to be honest, if it wasn't... Or go by your real name. If you could up now. You got it. You could just be... Just Livingston? That's it. Jesus Christ. That's some rich nigga shit right there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Diddy changed it, it like 20 times. Now, you got you, you to gotta be touching a good nine figures for that, man. Nine? Yeah. Oh, damn it. 100 mil. Expectancy out there is getting tougher and tougher. <laughs> nine figures. <laughs> nah, McNeese getting money out here, man. I think Adam, Adam uh, say you're making two million a month, man. I'm a pocket watch. I, I, it's like my biggest. I can't, I can't say anything because the second I do. You making two million too? No, I'm just saying there'll be 30 think pieces on why I hate Adam or why I'm hating on Adam. Now, I ain't going to lie. Adam did come in here and dissect y'all, though. I'm going to be honest. Handle these niggas. Nah, y you, nigga. Oh. You said handle these niggas. Yeah. No, it, because. You handle me. Use my cameras. I taped it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this guy, I wouldn't care what happened. <laughs> I wish he would have fought one of us. I keep trying to get these niggas to stage oh, a fight. No, no, all right, that was did wild. I tell that you on the stage a fight? That was wild. That was wild. That was what? wild. I ain't gonna lie. The, the, the whole fighting shit that they did. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He sent it to me too. So said, Ack, check this out. He said, please don't leak it. I said, what the fuck? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means, right? <laughs> please leak it. <laughs> please leak this. <laughs> he dropped that shit on the timeline. I was in disbelief, man. I'm like, yo, shit. They gave me all the, like, like I'm on some ghetto fuckery shit. I'm like, this nigga got whole fights going on. That might be the wave. And let me tell you something. If I go get married, that's, oh, that's going to sound like hate. Let me shut up. Well, it's not, it's not the wave, <laughs> but it's like. Wave, I was about to hate. It's, it's, it's clearly not the wave, but that's. That's type of content, you know what I mean? It's coming out, you know what I mean? I won't say it's the way, but, you know, it I'm glad successful. I'm past that. Yeah. I will tell Ian to call OnlyFans tomorrow. Let them know that Joe Budden's getting married next week, and they're going to go all across the country to find willing women that want to just sleep with uh, him and his wife. How much you think I make a month? I'm out of here. Did you already pitch I'm out of here. But see what I mean? <laughs> see, see what I mean? sound like he had that already down. I'm just saying, see what I mean? Like... Two million a month. That's not the thing about y'all niggas. Y'all just get right. I'm making a hundred million a month. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm telling you. Clip it. Fuck it. I'm telling you. Fuck it. Clip it, man. Right. Yeah, clip it. I'm making a hundred million a month. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> nah, man, because I be trying the to internet just No, nah, yo, Joe. Yo. I try to I try to compete. Like, I feel like we're all in the same league, so I'm trying to make sure I'm... No, you're I mean? trying to see the pecking order of... Facts, you know. Come on now, of course. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> where you, all right, today, where, where you got the pecking order? And as soon as I heard that nigga say two million, I, I, and he was breaking it down, he said, yeah, you start I get like 1.5 from fucking, fucking chicks. I'm like, damn. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie Next time I had sex I, I had to record that shit I wanna see my stroke right? <laughs> I had to see like Yo Maybe Like yo Maybe yo, Fuck yeah. it I might get, get 1.5 For 800,000 Can 800, come my way thou. Fuck it You right I'm with you dog Come on Alright so where you got Your pecking order now After years okay. of pocket watching Pecking order Alright cool as far as money? It's, it's tax season, too. It's tax season. Okay. Tell okay. the truth. So I'm definitely at the bottom. Tell the truth. Yeah, yeah look. Look, look. <laughs> no, no. Look, I, look, we look talking about media niggas? We talking about media niggas? Yeah, get your shit off. Oh, Come on. We, hey. For uh, whatever reason. Somebody it, listening it, remote. Clip this. Okay. Um, I think Charlamagne makes the most money. Okay. At, come on. Put, come on. Put a name okay. on that bullet. At around what? If Adam's getting two million a month, it's twenty five million. Oh, is, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, never mind, never mind. Puts, I forgot. If Adam is at twenty, but he's cheating the game of porn. That's what I'm trying to tell. I'm looking at the stroke game now. I'm like, I'm gonna have to get up in that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get up in that. <laughs> like, I, I got a greatest hits, like a good five, like a greatest yeah, hits but collection. Porn to Adam is anxiety for Charlamagne. <laughs> 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 All right, hold on. So, so, wait, am I ranking him? <laughs> Come on. They both just. Uh, do you wake up with anxiety in the morning? <laughs> Yo. Why y'all ain't cool yet, man? <laughs> we, we miss the yearly rapper, brother. Yo. Y'all been letting niggas be anxious for about seven years. Yo, what? we need what? a yearly rapper, man. What's good? I will be in Punta Cana somewhere <laughs> just doing a wrap up. I'll be rapping something. I can something do it on Revolt. It'll be great. Uh -huh. I can do it on Revolt. <laughs> Shout out to Revolt, too. I fuck with Revolt. Anyway, no, no, I, I can't count the porn money, bro. Like, we not doing porn. We talking about what you get from putting in work on these mics. All We're right, having a All right, Charlemagne's first. Yeah. Um, At what? In money, I'm talking about. I said, but you said put a dollar amount to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'll be saying that. I'll, I'll be thinking he probably pulling at least. I love when niggas pocket watches. It I makes for great content. I, I, I see about like 15 million a year. 15. You said 15? One five? <laughs> What's the laugh for? I feel like I just like. No, no, no. Low on my miss? No. I'm just saying. No, 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 I, think, I think he should be in the range of 15, 20, 15. I'm going to just say 15. Okay. Second. Second. I ain't on this list. Me neither. Don't put me on this no, list. You're definitely don't put me, me on this oh, list. I love pocket. Please watching. don't put me. Oh, man, I Please love, don't put me on this. Yeah, list. I, 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 I want nothing to do yo, with this list. Most of my pocket watching for you is just coming from your fit game. I'm like, oh shit, Joe, oh, Joe getting it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even seen the whips yet. Never seen them back in person, bro. <laughs> Please keep me off your list. Now, who's second? Second. Come on. <laughs> I love. A Unfortunately, bit. I think that's probably the only person in 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 radio or media. Okay. Um, like, like radio. Can I get to number two? <laughs> so if I got him at fifteen, it really should be twenty. I'm about to smoke twenty. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got DJ Vlad up there, man. I got DJ Vlad at Vlad about, number two. All right. I got Vlad around like ten. Okay. That's ten a year. Big jump from one to two. Might be a little bit more, but okay. Twenty After million that, at one and ten million at two. Obviously, I'm forgetting oh, some middle order oh, people. The rest, the rest of us, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this list is getting bad. You know, he, oh. he loves this. Holy <laughs> shit! He loves this. I got, let me see. After yeah, that, this guy's the greatest. This is awesome. Yeah, w without the poor money, I got I, I got Adam at three. Without the poor money, we got to take the poor money out of here. So just off platform. Wait. Out the pouring money, Adam to three. Yeah. All right, give me four. And I ain't gonna lie, I think after that, I don't know what Nori get, but Nori got to be at least getting like close to ten, bro. I don't know what's going on out here, Fino. So everybody just got ten million. Nah, <laughs> I'm not saying that. it would be wild if they're not getting what? <laughs> All right. At least over five. Let, let me just say five. It's to your ten. list. Okay, five to it's ten. It's your list. Do what you want with your list. Where you falling? Where you falling? Who say, me? Yeah. Where you? Who do, 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 do. And on this list. I ain't on this one, this list. I'm gonna tell you what I feel like you fall. I've been no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I got, you, I got a number for you. Wait. What's my number? Let me see here. Come on, give it to me. Three point five million. I told you, leave me off your little list. I think three point five million, man. <laughs> First of all, I'm not supposed to be on the list because we work together. We're supposed to have like a sacred bond. <laughs> where? <laughs> nah, but, but I apparently, got... I've learned from my co past coworkers. Hold that, on, that I've, yo, I've had to absolutely pocket, nothing. I've had to pocket watch you even harder because you know what I mean. You know, it, it was definitely controversial when, when people seen you, went, you, like, you just went independent after, you know what I mean, you were with Spotify. So I just said, damn, where the money really coming from? Or let me see how I was looking over there, man. Why, do, why, do, why are men like that, yo? We could, really, we could really unpack this right now, because you're telling the truth. This is men. Yeah, that's not bad. But well, why are we like this? Because y'all in the same competitive space. So I I'm, don't view it like I'm, that. Yeah, do you, you view do, me as competition? No, that, that, I don't even say competition. competition. We sat up here and talked about how Lamar Jackson is looking at all the other quarterbacks in the NFL that are starting quarterbacks. And when I go pitch to Baltimore, Baltimore, I'm going to look at what Mahomes got. I'm going to look at what D.Y. I got. I'm going to look at what all these people got to make sure I'm in that same realm. So academics should look at your salary, Charlemagne's salary, Gillian Wallow, and look at the field and make sure that if I'm the best in my craft, I'm somewhere in the middle of the field. Yeah, and it's also sometimes like, you know, subconsciously. It might be, maybe it's like I'm aggressive with it. Like I'm looking at dollar signs or I'm trying to. But it could be as, damn, yo, this thing got to, Living Butler, like obviously don't, but like, <laughs> why, to, why am I not getting that? You know what I mean? It's one Benson. of those things. Wild you, got you, Benson, yo. yeah, you actually subliminally do it. Like, wait, damn, this thing living like that, man. I gotta step my shit up, nigga. So like, but got, me and him supposed to be, you know, me yeah, in the yeah. same league. Where well, you got Schultz at? That's kind of interesting. So you don't really pocket watch? No, no, because well, he's you a comedian. Just, you play, play pocket watch. Like you don't really. I think Dedicate yourself to the pocket watching. Well, I think Schultz is at definitely like around five million. All right, so Schultz at five. I'm at five, you said, or three? Three point five. I'm at three. I'm at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Wait, wait, nah, holy nah. shit, wait. Nah, you, you got some other I'm at three point five, and everybody else is it's leaps and you. bounds above me. No, 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 no. They no, no. all beating me by like a million and up. 
Well, we talking about like the top one right, percent. Obviously, it. below that right. we have a few more At, players. I will take it. I will t- gladly <laughs> take the bottom of the top one percent. Okay. And my off my you off by you five, you off five, five I ain't talking about me. Oh no, I ain't talking about me. Like no, my, no, you too high for me. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> nah, you, no, I'm t- I swear to something. <laughs> you are too high for me. But everybody else, yeah, you going crazy out here. You for look real? at the wrong shit. Okay. You now I think I'm right. I think I'm pretty right. Like. I'm going off certain things I know. These niggas be broke, man. I don't care how many black on t-shirts they wear. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo hey, 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 I don't give up. Hey, I, yo, yeah, yo, y'all can keep yo, dressing yo, it up guy, with. Hey. <laughs> yo, what's wrong with this guy right here, man? <laughs> Look at this anxiety hoodie. I, I don't yo. care. I don't care how much they dress it up, buddy. <laughs> See, you can't just talk because anything I say is hey. Yo, what's wrong with this guy? Like, anything right? you say is hey. That is that's hate, hate right there. That's, 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 that's hate. That's hate. That's hate. I don't think that's hate. <laughs> Yo, for Charlotte, bro. You think Charlotte broke? <laughs> now you put words in my mouth. Now I'm asking you. I don't think that none of us are broke, thank God. Okay, good. See, and that's why I don't really look at none of y'all. I always look at me. Like, I know where I was at in 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 20, Like, I try to stay there to keep things within, within the realm of where they should be, number one. And number two, like I was just telling somebody on the Reddit chat, I try to pocket watch the people that are where I want to be, not the people that are where I am. Right? Like we okay, all I get that. We all in the same space in some form of the same ballpark. I'm trying to see how Steve Harvey built that, how Kevin Hart built that. How do you take your one million or your five million, ten million and turn it into a hundred, hey, two hundred? That's when these niggas really start getting to it. I have Vlad moving up the list the moment he started talking back to all the goddamn rappers. Like, he, see, he be sunning them. He be letting them know, like, you niggas ain't shit. You niggas need me. Vlad broke, too. Nah. Vlad broke, too. That nigga just started wearing a nice shirt. Nah. Vlad, v- v- Vlad got some money, started, He just started cleaning up a little Listen, bit. Listen, I ain't trying to put hey, Vlad personal Amir. business. Hey, Vladimir, you still a bum, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yo, what? I, I, time, I don't give, hey, what's this up with Joe? And then we started with positivity. We started with yo. If you could dead it, dead no. it. Technically, Vlad, Fuck Vlad. You Vlad said got the what's up with Vlad got the biggest Vlad platform. Stays up. He got he got the biggest platform in hip hop right now. But if we're going strictly by day to numbers, that don't mean nothing more. That don't mean. But let me ask you this: It's over for that. Let See, me ask some you, niggas out there still trying to have the biggest platform. Let me let me ask you a question: If people what? wanted to do what he does, you don't think that those numbers could roll right into? If somebody followed his lead. Let's say Joe, hypothetically, mm. followed his lead. Don't yep. say Joe, even okay. hypothetically. No, if Joe wanted to sit up here and interview all the rappers and do all of the salacious, nasty shit, you don't think the numbers will go there? Uh, Yeah. You don't think he'll get another 100,000 Patreon subscribers? Yeah. No, I if, if, if behind closed doors and behind a paywall, Joe interviewed all these little young shoot 'em up bang, bang, Roscoe and them, you don't think his numbers will go through the roof? No, I agree. Yeah, but the other thing I don't like. So that is that really either. a benchmark, though? You get what I'm it's saying? It's a benchmark like, because people's history is unique to them, right? Like, so who Vlad is and who he's been since 2008 and what he's done in the space to progress it plays a part in that. So you can't cheapen it after the work is done and say, hey, if he did that, he could do it, right? Like, niggas look at Ack and say, nigga, if I get on Twitch and sit down and just talk 24 7, I can do it. No, you, you can't. Well, you can't. No, you can't. Because you're missing a big chunk of that. I think everybody in the space is equally important, if I'm, if I'm gonna be honest. I think everybody is needed. I think I don't look at all of you niggas because everybody do something that Joe don't do, right? Like, I can't do what you do. I got with you and you learned me about all these little fuckity fucks. You learned me about the SoundCloud generation. Like, you learned me some things. Vlad, for whatever you wanna say about him, he's got 10 years of sit in front of this. Legitimacy. I'm off camera. This is what we're doing. He has a portfolio. Yeah. Charlemagne, more of the same. Gillian Wallow. I'm tired just watching their Instagram. I can't do what they're doing. I ain't gonna lie, they're. I can't do what they're doing, man. And like, I ain't trying to. I, it's like five skits Everybody got it. Yeah, niggas is doing a lot. Everybody got to design their life and their career how it best suits them. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to design mine to get busy from the crib on the phone. Joe AI now sitting here like we. I'm trying to move. That way, if we keep watching each other, then we ain't even sharing the information to help each other build. Have you thought about 
I, what, That's I why I like your sports example, right? Because in sports, Lamar Jackson should be watching everybody because he cheering on Pat Mahomes or whoever that person is getting paid because I'm get next in line yep, to get it. Yep. In the content space, the big companies that cut you a big check, the first thing they tell you is, Shh. Don't tell nobody what it is. Shh. So now that leaves the room for all the lies that get told. Because the company ain't going to blow it up and you ain't going to blow it up. Mm -hmm. One. And two, damn, I forgot the fucking point I was making. Just that fast. I agree with that, though, because that's that's a tactic. Oh. Because now if everybody yeah, knows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we if know it's a secret. Going the next company so, asks for Exactly. That. So if it's a secret here, mm -hmm. now Act might not be rooting for Joe to go get 100 mil or Charlamagne not, might not be rooting for Joe mm -hmm. to get it because that don't speak to the next in line shit that goes on mm -hmm. in sports. Over here, they tell all us to keep it a But I think it does. And I think they do the divide and conquer on purpose. And you subscribe to it. So I think that if you go get 150 mil, I think you should be on the phone with Ak. I think you should be on the phone with Charlamagne. I think you should be on the phone with Gilly saying, yo, <laughs> between us, I got a buck 50. Y'all niggas go in there and get what y'all worth. The fact that you keep it and you don't tell nobody now, that does allow Ak to go in there and get 20 million. When you got 150, they was willing to give Ak 90. They was willing to give Act 130. You only got 30 because Joe didn't tell you, yo, they got a bag over there and they giving it away. Yeah. And I ain't get it. I agree. The they changes with the different companies. True. That's an interesting company. No, I'm just saying, but that but you get what I'm saying? Like on. I think if you're behind yeah, closed I, I doors. I was armed with information before I went. To that's like when fucking that's like when Dame, right? Dame had called me and somebody else out for not sharing the Spotify plug. When we were when we were at Spotify, and it was like Joe, man, we supposed to build and share the information. Oh, yeah, pass and the plug, huh? And Dame is my man. Dame is loaned me money, loaned, gave me information. He's always been solid with me. So that hurt when I saw him say that. But we didn't kick it for him to know. No, I ain't on good terms with these niggas. <laughs> mm. I can't plug. I can't plug you in. And I'm over here. I'm over here fighting for my life. Hey, with you, when I was going to revolt, I was like, yo, I think we can get more money with Puff. I got to respect when you say I'm not following behind you over there and I ain't heard from them niggas. You leaving, I get more over here. Gotta respect that, right? The different companies, I think it should be a union. I hey, do. Hey, hey, let me ask you a question because I think now it's like... But that's how it starts though, Niggas Joe. too selfish to have. I think yeah. this conversation is like that's really relevant now because especially with Angela Yee leaving the breakfast club, I feel like all platforms are in like an interesting space. I don't know if there's a, a, a necessarily any platform that if, like, for example, whether it's an artist trying to promote, like, an album or, like, there's not one platform that, as soon as you go on, is just, like, super radioactive. I feel like everybody got their own little, you know, like, yeah, if you're this type of artist or you're a legend, is, drink champs, yeah. okay, might be a street dude, okay, you with Gillian Wallow, blah, 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 but there's no platform where... I feel like as soon as you're on it, it's just like everybody. But that, like, but that's a good and Breakfast thing. Club had it at one time, right? Yeah, Where it's like, they did. damn. Like, I was just even looking. I'm like, like a boogie. He did a, a Breakfast Club interview, and I was, I was like, I still think people are kind of unaware that his album, album dropped, dropped, right? Mm. Before it used to be as soon as you're on this platform, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. But they were the only show in town. So if you if you are in a black space and you are in an entertainment space, it's like. Pre podcast, Angie Martinez was it. If you got an Angie interview, you had arrived. You get what I'm saying? If you mm. got a Breakfast Club interview back in the day, you had arrived. Now you can go sit down with Gillian Wallow. I might not even like Charlemagne, so I don't want to go over there. I could go sit with Gillian Wallow and I could get exposed to millions of people. I might not like Joe. I could go sit over here. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Back in the day, the Breakfast Club was the only show in town, so they got everybody. Also, to add to that, why I like it this way is because none of that stuff matters. And only in hip hop do we get caught up with, I'm the biggest, I'm the best thing moving. You can't fuck with me. That's a real hip hop. You think so? Yes. You don't think, you don't think uh, yes. Jay Leno was beefing or, or competing with, they was going through that. They That's were, not true. Yeah. That's they not were. true. They That's were. not a hip hop thing. They was going through it, bro. The late night talk show niggas was Never. actually beefing Never. and taking shots at each other. That's like Kanye, that, to, to me, what you're saying, I'm not saying it's not true, but it's like Kanye and 50 beefing head to head who's going to sell the most records. It's, mm -hmm. the same, it's the same company. That was... In, in, that in, was in, in late night, in, all of them, CBS and NBC, they know who the host is for the next 30 years and the niggas we looking at after that. Mm -hmm. Anything that, any beef they had going on, that was... Network theatrics. It couldn't be a real beef because all of them to even be in the conversation made forty million a show. Yeah, but I still want the, I still want the ratings. 
Well, that and that's where I'm saying network beef comes oh, into yeah. play. You mean, right. but, for the but they friends. Yeah, that's true. You make fifty, I make forty. But sometimes that shit is real. I collect cards. I drive over there. Mm -hmm. At the end, all of these niggas for our whole lives have been but, but, that. But, but, and this, listen, back to my point, right? And I used to get caught up in this. We all get caught up in this. Like when when my show was the t top top number one thing moving, that was like a badge of honor, right? Until right, you grow out of it. I think one time I. You looking at other people, and I won't name any names, but I was looking at somebody well established, well tenured, experienced, successful, and you know you get in the feeling yourself where you're like, oh, nigga, you're not impactful. You ain't making no noise out here. You drop. I don't. I don't hear none of that. The trick is, they graduated from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do that. Yeah, anymore. we the fool. Mm -hmm. I don't have mm -hmm. to be the hottest or the mm -hmm. number one show or the most. I impactful. did that already. I did that and got what I got from it. Mm -hmm. See, I like the space like that because if everybody continues to be that creative, I'm going to keep looking at different ways to get it done. <laughs> I think that's just a growing thing. It, it, it's, but it's just you a know, growing thing. Even to the Go point Go get a platform, making... you figure out how to monetize from it. Everybody is showing, everybody's showing a different display of that, right? It's no longer just uh, exclusive model, ads here. Everybody is, I love that Adam is independent. So whatever you say about him, he can go wild. He can go on a BMX bike one day, fuck this girl the next day, gang bang, y'all fight. There's no threat of cancellation because I built this, I own this. I love that I'm independent. I love that when everybody posts up them little charts and shit right under this shit, it's like, damn. Well, well here's the thing, though, and, and that's what I'm trying to say is like, what happens- I love and, and that you started taking payola from labels. I can spot it. This guy, I man. can spot No I can spot it this guy, I can spot man. Hey you guys Tell me what you think Of Lil Cheek Cheek Lil Cheek Cheek Just dropped his smash <laughs> I'm like yo dog hey. yo, What are we doing here Yo in, in, in reality I guess what I was Also talking about Is like politeness. You see how Rogan's Podcast grew, grew to be That size, size right mm -hmm. I feel like Hip hop platforms Right now We're all Like in our own way Kind of neck and neck You get what I mean And, and I'm And I, what I'm trying to say Is that I'm look I'm looking forward to see if it's going to be a new platform or somebody else, or maybe one of the current existing one that, because there's always going to be, this is like the hottest show in town. It won't mm -hmm. be the only show, but it's the hottest show in town. Right. You get what I mean? And I think everybody gets, goes through their moments where it's like, okay, this this podcast or this platform is having a run, and then it will be, oh, this other podcast is having a run. But we don't definitely yeah. have... Something where it's just so huge that the rest of the field just looks almost like insignificant. I like that. I do. Mm. That's super dope. It's I think that's better for the. For it the, should continue to be that way. Mm. And cream rises. So I'll be thinking different. I'm cream like, man, rises. I, I, I got to crush all these niggas. It's a hundred thousand niggas. Like, it's a hundred thousand niggas a day to drop a podcast. Mm -hmm. Every day, hundred thousand niggas. Cream rises at the top no matter what. No. I ain't got to crush you because if you really dope, which I believe you are, you're going to rise. Same with them niggas over there, Adam, him, him, Schultz, even the niggas I don't like. You can still see the rise. <laughs> I watched an interesting rise. conversation everybody the other day rise, of, of uh, we'll talk about it later, <laughs> of Schultz, to, uh, Schultz and Charlemagne arguing Charlemagne well, well. about who's bigger, Rogan or Charlemagne. Rogan or Charlemagne? That's what I watched. Was that, that a real was an argument? A real one? That's nah, what I watch. <laughs> Yo, that's that old age schedule of shooting. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> nah. Yo, six, 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 what was six. the conversation about? I almost want to find it on YouTube so you can hear it, but that was the exact conversation. Schultz was saying, can I ask you a question? Joe Rogan is the biggest platform <laughs> moving. And then Charlemagne said, Oh, I did see that. Bigger than who? Where he said, no, where he, was, he was saying the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I disagree with that one. I disagree. I disagree too. You disagree with whose side? Joe Rogan is the biggest thing in the world. Clearly, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. end. I don't care what I, anybody. I think Joe Rogan is. I don't care what anybody's metrics say. I, I think he's 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 basically like a late night TV show, man. Like it's, yeah, it's he's, just it's, it's different. It's different stratosphere. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I don't count him, and that's like you counting Stern. It's like it's different. But I mean, I'll tell you what I pulled from it later. Rather interesting, and also you got real Schultz is in the podcast lane. So like you know he's a podcast comedy. Which by the way, no, I, I've no. seen. Don't uh, cater for your man. Don't cater well, for your man now. Well, I, I've always said he's building in a lane to be like some of that hip hop and shit. 
you know, I, I think he was a little bit more catering to culture. Man, he's 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 UFC. That's Rogan. UFC, all these other things, and I think it's smart. I think it's a great way to get. It's to, super get smart. Up. It's a great way to get audience. It is super smart to, because here's the thing. This is what all of us hip hop platforms suffer from. Like there is a ceiling on hip hop. The That's amount true. of people who want to consume content related to music. Some people, everybody listens to music, mm -hmm. but content related to music. It's not a lot. There is I mean, a not, ceiling on it, right? But it's yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm rolling. And and um, when you inevitably or when you're a hip hop um, platform. You kind of, it's hard to break out of that you because people yourself, say, man. no, no, stay in lane. You're the hip hop sure. guy. When you kind of, I won't say least, but like you kind of dibbling, dabble into it, but also you're into all these other subcultures. Mm -hmm. That's how you become Rogan, right? Where, hey, yeah, all well, you guys who are into, um, you know, um, fitness and mm -hmm. MMA, come over here. Yeah, well, we I talk some sports. Too. That makes hey, y'all political yeah. niggas, come over here too, man. We got you. Oh, y'all want jokes? We going to definitely have everything full of jokes. Sure. I, I, I look at that and I was like, because if if you look at how there's a time where I thought that Brilliant Idiots was was a better performing podcast than Flagrant Two, and maybe it's not it even was close. at one point. It, I mean, maybe it was at one point. Flagrant Two outperforms pretty much all hip hop. Uh, well, I, I'm only look. I only always me, look at Spotify. Let me Spotify, ask you a question. Um, chart. So, um, it outperforms all hip hop plat um, podcasts. Let me ask you a question. What you said, I totally agree with. Right? Do Do you think color plays a part in that? Well, absolutely. Absolutely. So with that being said, like at one point, Joe and I had a conversation. This was years ago. I wasn't even remotely thinking about podcasting. And I told Joe, yo, you could be the next Arsenio Hall. Yeah. Right? Because you have the ability to um, transcend any any demo. Right? Like if he on a silly shit, he could be a silly shit. He can interview the white people. He can interview the white pop artists. He could do all of those things. I think that in the white... See Steve Madden joint, man. Oh, thank you, man. Come on, man. I think I think in a white space, it's easier to grab Kelly Clarkson. She's comfortable coming to sit with you. You hear what I'm saying? It ain't that many black Kelly Clarksons. Kelly and then, Clarkson also has a new show. And then, <laughs> but, and then even when the black artists get to a certain level, and this is what all the black podcasters are talking about now, when you get to a certain level, they apprehensive to come sit on the couch. When they rise, they'll come sit on the couch. Yeah, that's true. But once you get to a certain once level, they make they a stars. Yeah, they, they, now, they now they want to run and shoot. They'll go, they'll go fuck with Leno. Fact. Yeah. yeah. I always said it's more, it's more valuable to me talking about him than talking to you. Unfor that's unfortunate. I always say that in the opposite way. I'm like, Yo, listen, if I can't talk to you, shit, I could make more money talking about you. What I'm saying to you is this about the Schultz Charlemagne argument. Mm-hmm. I do believe, and then I'm moving off of you. I'm talk, anytime you come here, I talk about a bunch of niggas I don't ever talk about this part. But if I pour 1,000% of me into you to build you up and build you up and build you up because I have been the bigger person with the bigger light and platform mm -hmm. to be able to do that, and it then starts to work, and then you move on to greener pastures. Okay. Don't come back to me nine years later and tell me about how your new, your new best friend is so much bigger than me. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Hey, explain that. It I'm, could be true, though. It could, it's still it disrespectful. Could, it's still, still, so I'm, I'm not I'm, saying it's not true. Let me give you an example. I'm on the Joe Biden podcast. Oh, I, I, okay. I'm okay. on the Joe Biden podcast. I, 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 hear, I hear the yes. argument. Do you, do you think that was an undertone in the conversation? I think, they, I think there was a lot of edits in that. It was a lot of edits in that. Timely edits. Go back and watch it and pay you attention. So. Go, I do this for a living. No, I did see edits. Go did watch. No, but where they were placed. Where they were placed and what they came back in with. Spicy. No, I do. Rogan is 100% bigger than you. Clip, clip. You come back in with your man saying, yo, I'm competitive. This does bother me. I'm super proud of you. I helped you get where you're going. I always saw this for your future, but don't come back to me. I'm competitive, nigga. Don't come tell me this nigga's better than me. I felt him. Even if... Wait, did he say that? In his own words. Okay, okay, in okay. his own words. Go watch it. But okay, I, I, mean, I felt go. him. Even if... Even, even if, if it's true, nigga. Right. Yeah, even, even if it's true, nigga. You, right. you don't get to come... I don't e, don't I do e, that. I.E. Skip and Shannon. Skip and Shannon. He was like, nigga, you ain't Brady. And he was like, so? You ain't me. That Bingo. nigga said, I wasn't a bum, Bingo. nigga. I wasn't a bum. I got three Super Bowl rings. I'm in the Hall, Hall of, of Fucking Fame. fame. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm one of them. Don't don't tell me that this white boy is he even though he's the goat he is the goat but don't act like I'm some bum nigga I ain't a plan B yeah. that's the same thing Skip got into it with uh 
Jalen Rose over when they got into it. Oh, I ain't never seen it. Hmm. You never saw that? I never saw it. That was a big one. Uh, Jalen Rose was defending, was saying, you can attack a player's game yeah. without attacking them personally. The That's true. At the time, Skip was coming up with nicknames for players. True. I think... Uh, nah, his Bosch, Bosch was Bosch Spice. Or Bosch something. Spice, come on, man. So Jalen, nah, come on, man. So, so, Jay, so Jalen was saying, "Yo, <laughs> yeah. there's a way for you to do that and not attack these people personally." Actually, the same exact Shannon Sharp shit. And Skip said, "Well, what type?" Uh, he said, "Well, this point guard is like this, and Westbrook is not your conventional point guard." And Skip said, "Well, what type of point guard was you?" <laughs> 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 on air. So now you, it's a personal attack. Yeah, that's an attack. That's and personal. then Jalen just so happened to have Skip's high school stats in his pocket. Oh, shit. Mm. He the only one that knew Skip played high school ball for a team. He said, wait a second, nigga. <laughs> Is this you? <laughs> and you averaged three point, two points in three minutes or something. Like, shit like that. But I think, but this is what I think. I think that, and, and this is going to sound funny. I think that when white people are allowed, and this is what I told Adam, when the white people, we allow the white people into our culture, into our lives, they can conveniently disappear when they feel like it. And do. So Adam and can come that. on his platform, he can make $100 million off of black trauma, and when Adam turns 45, 50, he can disappear into the fucking wind and go do mad white shit. We stuck here. And that's what the argument I was making to him, like, fam, okay, that's, you that's are true. taking these black boys, and you, I've seen shit, niggas was sending me shit after, where he was purposefully in, uh, uh, instigating beef. Well, such and such said that you said this, and they was like, yo, I don't know that person. He like, you don't know him. You just told me in my text message that he a bitch ass. <laughs> He's doing that on purpose. These black kids are out here dying, getting shot, getting all the shit, and when he turns 55, he can have... Adam Productions and go disappear and make fucking Transformers 17. Yeah, well, I, I'll say, I, I didn't think you have a point there, right? Because I, I do think that, I think that his platform is just too big and he's too successful to still be, like, there was a moment where he kind of pivoted into, it was, it's like, no, I have no idea who these niggas are. Fam, you, you know just what I mean? said. Like, like I won't sit with a nigga who I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like we have to level up. And You'll be like, yo, this this right. nigga from this gang mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't like your gang. You know he this y'all, right? Like, I think, but, but I think Adam's platform has kind of shifted. Like, I know we we consider him in, in the hip hop platforms, but if you watch his platform now, they got pimps on it. Mm -hmm. They're talking about, yo, just give me the, give me your best story of when you fuck ten niggas. Just come, like again, it's it's he's cool. kind of he's kind of moving out of the but hip hop thing. But this is my thing. Actually. When you the platform is moving out, cool. Of but when you're a white artist, you can do that. You just said that we are all having a hard time shifting into other shit as black, yeah, media, right? Because we kind of get pigeonholed and we get boxed in. When you white, you could dip. No, I agree. I agree. You get what I'm saying? You could dip at your leisure. I Once agree. you get to a certain level, you could dip. So how do you, how do you how I do you, spoke to three white people in a row and they called me a sellout. And about and about um like shows like God diversify. How I think I, I think you can. I think that we are shows and even with Joe just going to split yeah, from something. Two conversations. I'm sorry. So what's no, up? No, I, I, I said, how do you how do you how do you get out of that? And I said, yo, you can. I think you just gotta be open minded and diversify. And the last three interviews that you did prove it. Yeah, they calling me sell out every second. They yo, get. you, yo, you get do your fucking your your humans. Why you don't interview no black people? And I'm like, yo, fam. Yeah, now you do, you do have to kind of expand and like. That's a little bit of um. That's hate, by the way, too. It's close, that, it's close my your audience. Some of your audience won't also grow with you. You know, mm -hmm. I've I've definitely learned that too. You know, Everybody people, not meant to. Like, there's a lot of people who be like, there man, I I, I miss yeah. that 2013 war in Chirac academics. Well, that person ain't here no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if and if I'm trying to mm -hmm. still please you, I'm not continuing to grow. So, you know, like even even these days, like sometimes, I shit. You this week for that. People yeah, killing me. They say, yo, you've been posting certain stuff that isn't hip hop. Like, could you stop posting that? You get what I mean? And I'm like, yo, listen. Listen to that, yo. Get <laughs> the fuck out of my face. Listen, just look like, yo, can you stop doing, do what I want you to do. Yeah, keep doing the same do thing you've been you doing. Do. And I mean, that's always happening. But, 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 but to the point with Schultz, I think Schultz was eventually and inevitably going to have to go his own route because he's in comedy. He's a, he's a white dude in comedy that 
he, he's not like he's not like uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, the, like Gary Owens. Is that that's his name? Yeah, Gary. Yeah, Gary he's Owen. a white Gary dude. Gary Owen. Owen. Yeah, but I think his comedy is more. Tell me men's. the difference between Adam Schultz and Mike Rappaport. The difference? I don't know. Too Both much in about comedy. That. Okay. Both in the podcast space. I don't. I think. Both white. Michael I Rappaport think. claimed that him and Tupac was taking pictures. I don't think. I. I, I think. I think. I, I can believe that. Which I think he has a picture. He yeah, I, I think for the movie, Every time they call him racist, he tweets a picture. <laughs> like, but, but but um, what do you call it again? Schultz, he takes the he's the white dude from the suburbs who has an interest in hip hop. Right. He doesn't want to be. Oh, I'm Ain't in golf. this shit, and I know beats, and I know rhymes, and this Kendrick album was great. No, no, no. And and, and by the way, it's usually more beneficial if you if even if we want to like you know categorize it as a voyeuristic you know journey through hip hop, where that's just how a lot of people are. Mm-hmm. Like the most that's of people how big who listen, hip hop is. But yeah, the most of the people who listen to hip hop, that. that's kind of what they do. That's exactly. True. He can be genuine in that. Yeah, definitely. So I have, I have plenty more to ask you about. You my man, so I didn't laugh as hard as I wanted to laugh. What? Talk about it. Come on, buddy. Wow. Nah, I laughed. This is the thing I'm thinking about. Yeah. 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 Is this is the yeah. thing I'm thinking about. Yeah, no, it was funny, but it's on the board. It should have been funny. Ish put something on the board relating to it. What? Which one? Somebody say something. The, I can't are, read. Are men the prize? Oh, is that what you're talking oh, about? Right there. Are men the catch? You the catch dog? That oh, was, yeah, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I laughed. Hold on, like, round of applause, y'all. Yeah. Round of applause. Listen, well, well, you scream. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the, the prize. <laughs> Nigga, I am the prize. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> hey, talk your on. shit. Hey, listen, by the way, hold on. First of all, this is when I realize there's a lot of low self esteem niggas out here, or niggas who think they're they're <laughs> they're overachieving. Get him, um, get him. Yeah. I guess in whatever relationship, if you don't think you ought to, you got some shit going on, or you're the person that the other person you're with, you know what I mean? Should be protecting that relationship because you're someone of uh, uh, that special. That's on you, but um, what? yeah. I mean, yeah, they got in the prize. Like, what the fuck? Talk your <laughs> shit. Like, wait, you, you don't think you the prize, brother? You motherfucking, oh, no. you talking to the wrong? You motherfucking right? <laughs> yeah, you damn right. I have a question. What? If you the prize, why you gotta tell it? Well. Uh, well, yeah. now you're going back to that yeah. situation, yeah. right? Yeah. No, no, no. They, 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 they was no. in the middle no. of a heated no. argument. Now, no. hold on. No. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> I have to just smell smell no, the aroma. No, no, no. Because it's not it's <laughs> the not prize only, aroma. No, it's it, no, it's not. It, <laughs> it depends on. I put it like this, for example, right? Look, he breaking it down. <laughs> Go ahead, give it to me. No, it's not stuttering. He going to people. Come on, give it to me. If you had an, <laughs> if you had a situation or opportunity or whatever in front of you, you would act a little bit different. In, um, if you knew your actions could jeopardize the situation. Yo, are y'all crazy? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you agree with me? Like, for example, if you you wouldn't start squaring up with niggas at your job if you knew you could possibly could lose your job, right? And and I guess the, okay. the right, right? I hope I hope that's right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, I, could, I would square up with a nigga and hit my job. Like what he did? Yeah, yeah exactly. How we get here? Yeah, though? I could Hold I'll find another job. I go to temp agency. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, yeah. Well, you work at a job and see a customer disrespect, but like yo, if y'all were in the streets, you probably you know what I mean punch him out. But you're your job now, bro. Like you know, again, to save your job, like damn, y'all niggas making this hard. We haven't said anything yet. Because y'all are saying that y- there's nothing that's sacred enough to you that you feel that you would change your actions in the moment because oh, it yeah, could yeah, jeopardize yeah, that. No, I thought you was just, got, Okay, so, that, but so because it could still happen at the job though. That's all. At, at, it, it, it depends catch on what happens. Full lock, guys. It depends on what happens. You come in here knocking a bunch of shit over, we might have to have a talk real quick. <laughs> all right, but anyway. I just knew they ended you when that clip dropped. I ain't gonna lie to you. What? I, I didn't said, think I was gonna end. I was just having a blast laughing at wait, it. it wait, wait, you, you thought because you were very when impassioned. The, when the clip first dropped, it dropped with. It dropped in a way, right? Yeah, it dropped away. You know what's with, so crazy with, about like, that text. clip? You know what's crazy, so crazy about the clip? So, really, one, the, one young lady in the, in the video, like I was actually seeing, right? The other one. I don't really know. We came from some other place. She's just following us, like in the entourage. Come on, man. Something light. Right? But here's the thing, though. She's the one who put the video up. I remember telling her, like, yo, listen, don't put this up. And she's like, nah. Ain't shit. nobody going to see it? Then she, she just started lying to me for no reason. Yo, World Star offered me 10 grand for this. I'm like, come mm. on, bro. <laughs> but it's clout. Couldn't, yeah. I couldn't talk her That's out of the, not putting of it course. up. And then she puts up the, the worst part where I'm breaking up a fight. So I'm raising my voice because you got two... 
intoxicated women, they going at it. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to tell my chick, like, yo, man, forget about this bum ass bitch. Like, you here with me? Like, yo, you do know, you see everybody who's backing up because the security of the place, they're all backing up. They're grabbing their phones too. Like, oh shit. TMZ, here we I fucking I got more come. money than all them niggas. <laughs> oh, I, had to, I had to shit on them niggas. You know what I mean? <laughs> why, you, you did, why you did that? Nah, I had to shit on them niggas in the hallway because all, 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 all of them, <laughs> all of them was just kind of like thinking this is a spectacle, like we some caged animals, man. And you know what I mean? Like I got things I could lose if the wrong type of allegation right. come out and people start believing certain type of narrative. So that's what I'm trying to tell them. I'm like, yo, this wildebeest you about to get into a fight with. That's what I'm trying to tell my girl, but she's intoxicated. I'm like, the wildebeest you about to get into a fight with. You she got three other hyenas with her over wildebeest there. Wildebeest okay? or hyenas. Wildebeest or hyenas. You can't call them in that, academics. <laughs> but anyway, you were defending a woman. Yo, you you know what's funny about you? What? Off mic, you were saying how the Shade Room commenters hate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know when I'm home reading and the story breaks on you, mm -hmm. I think the exact opposite and I start hating on you. Are you crazy? I start hating on you. What? You have the grace of people that... Should not be giving you the grace. Shave room post some shit, and I don't fuck with them neither. Shave room post some shit about you. You get in there and write a little paragraph at the top. Yo, y'all, this is what really happened. And they be like, all right, nah, we get it. It's smooth. That is not how that goes for people. <laughs> I can't go in there really and write innocent. nothing that makes. <laughs> Yo, listen, shave room commenters. This is what really went down. Yeah, come on, you gotta be like, yo, suck my dick. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what it is. You know, sometimes you gotta no, have you get context. grace. You get grace, yo. Really? You think so? Yes, you get I feel like I get killed. There's a few it. times you should have been ended out here and Really? And yeah. That clip was taken out of context, man. I was trying to stop, you know, two queens from fighting, man. Let me get the update on all your beefs. You and Freddie Gibbs. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, I guess we don't get it's along. Up Fabber? I That's my man. The album's real good. The really? album's real good. The album's real yeah, good. Yeah, it is. The album's real yeah, I don't good. got no problem with him. I, I think he went too far with certain shit, and now, you know what I mean? The, the thing is, when a rabbit got the gun, or, yeah, when a rabbit got the gun, in the sense of, you know, unfortunate things happen to you, you got to imagine after you've said that you can't wait till the day I die that you can spit on me in the casket. These are all things he said. You yo, know but what I mean? these are all things. Yo, stop, yo. These are things on across socials for sensationalism, Nobody yeah, no, really wants nobody to die here. Hey, listen, it's, 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 it's Freddie not, Gibbs don't want academics to die. Uh, don't say it then. Yeah, don't say it. it, it, it Fuck you talking uh, about. Oh, well, yeah. Don't because when I return, when I return, you, return, you, you bring, are going to say it, don't bring, be surprised that if you pop up because some shit happened to you, I got something to say now. It's, yeah, and, and play this. I went to no jumble one time. Internet Yo, I agree with you. Look, even if you say it, though, you can't get mad at me now after you said some reckless shit when I start getting reckless. Freddie Gibbs, your album is great. I don't want no smoke. Yo, yo, I go to no jumper. I do an interview. He going to tweet out, man... He's like, I knew that bitch ass nigga academics was there, man. I was almost gonna have a, a nigga go there and kill him. I literally said that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you know like, Gibbs, like, you know, yeah, don't be up here snitching. Yeah, don't do that. Don't yeah, don't use my platform that. don't snitch. Do that. That's don't what he said. If he was gonna yeah. kill you, then leave it at yeah, leave, leave it, it, leave it quiet. That. That. Nigga, that's what he said. He so tweeted what? You don't gotta tell that he said that. You a snitch. What's wrong with you? You ain't gotta tell he said that. Snitch on somebody dead. Nah, man. Hey, listen, you know. Nah, I ain't gonna have, listen, I had, a, I had a good conversation with my man Clifford, man. T.I. not no snitch, man. They said you had a conversation with the Prince family when you was doing all that reporting. Come on, what happened? Nah, they, I did have a scoop. conversation. Give they, us the scoop. Nah, they did hit me. They said, yo, listen, um, they said, I don't know if your platform is open to this, but we might want to make a statement soon, and we're going to pass it on along to you. And I'm like, bring it on. That's all I heard. Okay. That's it. People think that, like, they scared me into, because I think the internet wants J. Prince Jr. to be the person that's accountable for the murder. Because they, they they're really thinking that, yo, these dudes, take off and, and Quavo, were in the care of the Prince family and something happened and, made, and they believe it was somebody who's close to the Prince family that did it. So they want, him to be, they, they want him specifically to be held accountable. Yeah, they do. With me, I looked at a bunch of stuff and I'm like, he didn't do nothing. What do you think about you and the rest of the internet Pinning murders on the wrong people. Nah, we ain't pinning <laughs> on the wrong person at all. You ain't have the nigga that they arrested? Yeah, well, I, I've been said was, I, watched, I've been I watched all your little... Oh, I've been said it was a third shooter. <laughs> Listen, man, he's I only got my rat. eyes. He's such no, a rat. rat. Look, no, I did. I said it was a third shooter. They take shooter. pride in the, in the ratness. Nigga, I was counting the bullets. Like, the cadence, like, it looked like... <laughs> you was counting the bullets. Yo. Yeah, like, well, you listen to bullets getting fired if all of a sudden the shit don't look like it's semi-automatic no more unless a nigga had to switch or Yo, something. Yo, in, yeah. in real life, that's why I love the internet era. In real life, when them shots start going off, you can't really count them. 
Yo, they just, it's real shit. No, it's real shooting. That shit is loud. Yo, by the way, you know what's funny too? It's loud. I love how hip hop, you know, like I think if I did yeah, this for other situations, I would be just heralded and tossed these, out of hip hop. These internet but we, kids are counting the <laughs> counting shots. Nigga, when nah, you're nah, in a real have, spot and the shots get off, the last thing on your mind is yo, was that four shots, or five? Yeah. Well, really, you get the fuck out of there. Do that in a moment. Hey, I'm hopping all over. Rapid fire at you now. Fucking, uh, what you th- how you think Adam handled the little the fight? Which fight? The the, the fight. Come on, when he got out of there, come on. The one that was come on, tell you. And, and what would you do in that situation? I mean, well, well, here's the thing though. I would I wouldn't put that out. Like hell, no, I ain't putting that out. You know what I mean? But you invite people to your spot that could get it shaken. But I'm in a different space where, listen, first of all, you're showing up to my They're going to kick you out of that little nice building. <laughs> it's not like you're showing up to Complex. You know what I mean? Like, Complex was just like, yo, let's just see what happens. It's one of those things, right? With me, if we're not on the same accord and you're coming up in my building, I don't know how in any other way you think this is about to go, but probably favorable for me. So it would be probably in your best interest to not have that energy coming in. All right, not, so not, that has never happened. Those type of interactions... Like, you know, some of that weird shit where, like, you know, you have niggas like Vic Mensa coming in. And you wouldn't even come to my, That's why I'm so glad I'm, I'm in charge of my own platform now in the sense of I've gotten to the point where everything is done on my watch. Academics, so, I just saw you threaten some nigga named LeBar. I was just going to ask him, what happened, what happened if Luca catch you? What's his name, Luca LeBar? Oh. Oh, yeah, no, no, we could get a shake. I mean, him, we could get a shake. You told Luca LeBar. Who is that? that I don't know. Oh, I thought it was your man's. No, I don't know who he is. <laughs> I have no idea who no, he is. Well, well, this well, is my introduction to him. Well, I'm, listen, I'm only the responding shade room to people. commenters say he couldn't be a sweeter man. <laughs> he couldn't yo, be a sweeter listen, person. I'm responding to And people. you told him to come up there and I'm, get it shaken. Yo, I'm responding. You don't, you, don't, you don't really get it get it there with the women because they women. But if you a nigga, you can come to my spot and me oh, yeah. and get it. Why are you? You are too rich for this bullshit. No, because you know what? You got to make an example out of one of them niggas. You know why? Because they keep trying to drive a narrative. <laughs> yeah. Now, I only get tough with the women. Act. Act, yo, you so what happened if he face? What happened if, if you Act know, stuff, you yo. come up hey, on the other Act side stuff. of that? Act I mean, this what Livingston. Is. So any man that asks you for the, for the fade, you gonna give it to him? I mean, no. hold on, I'm not saying stop. anything. All right, so stop. But, <laughs> but him. Hold on, hold on. But and him. I'm going to give it to the Lord, the mild man, the nigga, but the nigga that's rah rah, you going to be like, yo, hey, hold on. I'm nah. calling the cop. Hey, now that you hold said on. that, you said I'm calling the cop. Now that you said that, you, I'm on no, no, no. Axe side now. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's who's your battle. That's who you're supposed to give it to. Choose your battle. Hold on, hold on. No, no, Wait, wait, wait. I never said I'm calling the cops if I have a fight with somebody. See, this is where you get my words twisted. Even when me and Meat Mill was going at I say, yo, listen, we have whatever issues for whatever reason. We could have boxed. I've been it. Yeah. I, I've said it a million times. I did. Me and, me and Lil Baby don't get along right now. And I said, if Lil Baby said, listen, man, I really don't like you, let's just go and just kind of handle what we got to handle and we could walk away from it, I'll do it too with Lil Baby. You name the niggas that probably want to shoot you, though. They don't want to square. They don't, <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. They don't want to square up with you. And you are you are being the the, provo- the provoking force in the Lil Baby beef. That's cap. I watch you every day, yo. Yo, he, Stop it, yo. He it's dis- you. He it's dis- you. Dis- yo, he said, academics, niggas like that could get touched. It's a threat. Don't be Charleston. That's not no threat. White. Don't be Charleston Man, White. You know what's not. Listen, nigga. But y'all all from the same school. It, I yo, Charleston okay. White and academic. Hold on, hold on. Whatever, I used to tell whatever, you. Whatever. Yo, 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 Leave yo. me alone, bro. Why are you saying my name? Now you threatening me? If, you never if, went to if, no If a nigga drops a never line on his multi platinum or soon to be multi platinum album. No. Yo, niggas like Ice could get smacked. Come on now. So that's oh, no, a little different, cause wait. I, so that means you're gonna kill. That's all he said. Nah. Well, he put you in two songs. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. But the other part didn't make sense, cause who the fuck? I've never said that I had more money than a little baby. Like, I think he's off a perk. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's the only reason. It's the only reason why you say some shit like that. <laughs> no, what's funny like, about who you? Actually no, what's funny? Y'all niggas, it's it's six degrees. What is how many degrees of separation? Not even. Right. You cool with whoever you cool with? Right. You cool with whack? Who's cool with P? Yeah. Who signed little Baby? Like, you would think at some point in the media journey, you'd be like, all right, that's my man's man, so I'm chilling. You never choose that route because wait, he makes would, money off wait, of it. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I would have chilled if he didn't diss me on his multi platinum album. Act makes money off of not chilling. No, listen, listen. But y'all are acting like I'm, Fair. I know you're saying I'm the provoker. Why? Y'all saying I'm the provoker. Act make money in his sleep, though. Oh, wait, but y'all he makes saying, more yo, when he got a beef. So let me ask you a question. Y'all saying I'm the provoker. Why the but fuck I'm y'all not beefing then? Who? Y'all two niggas, we gonna make Who? more money if y'all beef. I'm outside, beef. academic's not outside. I ain't not academic's not outside. Stop it, stop it. That's another thing. He was just in the mall Yo, yo, play this. You're never outside until you get knocked out. That's not true. I'm in the spots every day that I could get knocked out by my motherfucking self. Okay, what does outside mean? 
So like oh, I'm outside with no on, security. With okay, okay, I'm outside doing whatever the okay, fuck okay. I want to do. Explain what outside means now. Academics so, 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 go to Starlets by himself. Well, I've never been to Starlets. Well, I bet you fucking <laughs> that might not no, be his no, shit though. No, no, I'm not. Di- listen, on. he asked Keep me real? a question. Nah, I don't, I don't, hey, don't do that. He was in squeeze. I go to I go to local strip clubs. He was in What that mean? He was in squeeze. Wait, wait. I know drug lords. I go to local strip clubs. Hey, hold on. Time out. Hey, not too much on Joe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, fuck you. Number one, where academics was in squeeze. I remember that night. Joe called me and said, "Yo, come up here. We got act drunk as hell." Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. And when act was in squeeze, he wasn't the act that he is today. No, he was big. He wasn't the act that he is today. He was still big. They was on his ass in there. <laughs> yo, now, hold up. So when I say, yo, I'm outside, I mean like, yo, I could be in a spot that is a little... Let, yeah. me, let me ask you a question, Ish. Oh, brother. I can ask a question? Absolutely. Here, here come the inside boys jumping, my man. Never. Ish, no, you, I got, I Ish, you got this him? This North boy, boy shit. I wouldn't, never, I wouldn't jump my guy anyway. shit off. If you up a couple M's... Mm-hmm. You gonna be in them same them spots where where you can get your head knocked off at? Occasionally, here come logic. And, and I, I don't be in there that much no more now. But I, yo, so what the yo, fuck? Yo, yo, no, 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 no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tell me about the spots. I you shouldn't be going on. This is why I hate this conversation. Me a question. Can I answer? Well, you tell that, me all the time, on. Ice. You shouldn't be in I'll them spots I'll tell you why I hate this conversation. It's a constant moving of the goalposts, right? Absolutely. Because if I want to go to Starlets, right? I have a thing. Anytime I'm going to go around anybody in the industry, usually, I always have security. Now, if I'm in, if I'm in Starless with security every night, you're going to say, man, this nigga's still pussy. Yep. You, you, yes, they are. No, I'm not. He in here yes, with security. Bro, he got he 20 security. security. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, you, yes, they are. Time out. I, I'm, I can answer you. Well, stop okay. being pussy, then. This is my <laughs> <Go> <laughs> Yo, No. Basically, being outside means I'm here waving my hand, going live. Somebody do something. And if I'm not accessible to no, get. Now you're moving the goalpost. You are. Now you moving you the goalpost. Hold on. Stop I can, it. Let me, I can't tell you what outside your, means. I want to answer your question. If he went outside question. with security, he would still be talked about. I want to answer your question. question. Let's hear from I Ish, then that. let's hear from Ice, then let's hear from Act. Joe goes outside. Joe talk hella shit and been talking hella shit for 10 years. <laughs> 10. A little bit more than that. Dog, I've been in spots where it's me and Joe and it's 27 niggas outside waiting for me and Joe to come outside. Mm-hmm. But what they saying is, we stupid. Yeah. True. I'm not disagreeing. I'm saying once you do get to a certain level of success, you should do that. But I'm also saying when you get to a certain level of success and you know you're accessible, shut your fucking mouth if you don't want that. what comes along with that. Or... Prepare yourself Prepare by yourself. having fucking security cool. in case shit goes left. Cool. So now, hold up. But then you're not outside. You're not outside. Why are you not? <laughs> but then See, you're not that, outside. That's not outside. So, so, so what? Outside. That's so y'all are proving his points. Being outside well, means I have to be vulnerable well, to be attacked. Yes. Well, I that's am, what y'all mean. Well, out. That's what y'all take well, out. Well, if that's the question. case, hold on. Let me just say, yes. if wow. that's the case, ICE is never going outside. Christmas Eve. I don't want to be attacked. Christmas Eve. You you want you want Garden State Plaza by yourself? Christmas Eve. Um. Fuck no. I ain't gonna lie, I was in Garden State Plaza. I said I, Christmas Eve. <laughs> Christmas Eve. F U C K. No, I'm probably going to security. There you go. Something outside. Yeah, see? Something inside then. See? <laughs> Look, okay, you speak in Spanish. Inside. You speak in okay. Spanish. And it's Yo, time for your call. Hold on, hold on. Hey, wait, wait, wait. All right, hey, hold on. It's time for wait, your call. Okay. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm about to get it. <laughs> so, so technically, none of these rappers are outside then. Some of these niggas don't be having security. And you know what? You the know majority what happened of those? these niggas up got hella security. Correct. Hella security. Correct. Yeah, at, you move Correct. Go, I, 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 let me ask you a question. Correct. I, I remember th- this is one of the reasons me and Meek had got, gotten into it. He went back to his hood way back. I think it was Clip on probation. This. And he was on, like, he had <laughs> Matt, he had like about six security dudes with off duty cops. Uh. Now he went back to the hood. He's really outside with the people from his hood. Mm-hmm. Is he outside or not outside? Because security's there. So you're telling me yeah, that. I want to let him answer. I want to hear that. Please answer. They're trying to jump my nigga. We're not. We're we not. Answer? Answer? Yeah, yeah, we asked you outside or not. No, he's outside, outside or not. So he's not outside. No, he's not outside. So, that's 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 no, 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 I can answer you Because nigga, if that's the case And you really wanted him And you go back home to your hood You don't need no motherfucking security Because it's your hood And you stand cemented in your hood and that's out your, Do you keep that same energy when a rapper dies? Now we get to where Do you keep that same energy when a rapper dies? You out your mind Because everybody will say yeah, Oh, you with security, you pussy When you die, where the security? I'm The same people who say or you get oh. caught with a gun. Why you got the gun on you? Why you, you got, got the gun? security? <laughs> you supposed to be able to pay somebody Y'all to talk about now. something totally different. If me right now had a couple M's, me right now mm-hmm. had a couple M's, 
And it's a nigga right, sitting right Nigga I was in 466 last week If I was 20 million dollars up I would have been in 466 last week And it felt comfortable As a fucking kitten In some snow What's and that? When, What's that? It was it's a club What's 466? Fuck you talking about? It's, it's, a club. it's a club around my it's, hood it's, 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 it's in West Orange Corey I'm lying? It's, it's in West Orange I used to don't do that all right, all in West, in my call. No, We'll get on my car we'll No but right. all the Newark niggas gave it And I was in there comfortable as shit what does that mean? And if I was $20 million up, I would have still went to the same exact function. You not, we talking about being in the hood outside. That's what we were just talking about. We not going to act like, for, where's West Orange? Ice. We not doing that ish. I'm telling you this, you're wrong. I'm no, not. You are wrong. I'm not wrong. Know why? It's not where the spot is. It's the niggas that's in the spot. Correct. It can happen The niggas anywhere. that was in the spot, is fuck, the niggas that gave the part. The niggas that was it gave the party is all it's them niggas. I know. It's I all know. fucking. Uh, 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 we gotta uh, say it. I'll, fed I'll, felons. I'll respond to you and Axe point, right? Because I do understand the logic that y'all are saying. But what people normally mean by outside is exposed. Yes, that's what he just Wait, said. Wait, stop, stop. It's Let me finish. If I'm outside with the Takashi security. Roll the Jay Z and them six nine mountain niggas. Nobody's, I'm not outside. Nobody's ever going to say that Takashi's outside True. because he is hiring seven and eight people to be with him outside. That is true. Which Correct. means, without those people, he feels unsafe. True. Correct. When I move around, maybe not the smartest move, but I go some places alone. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. But what that means is, I'm outside. I am here. If anybody looking for me, want to talk to me, want to see me about something, want to do something to me, mm -hmm. I am here mm -hmm. for you to do it. I didn't cower. I didn't hire. The, wait, I didn't hire the security. I didn't stay home, and That's I didn't, and I didn't avoid move you. Move on your part. We're you are a business. That. They both you just can started be true. off saying that, but you started off saying that it, I might not move around the smartest. We're talking about smarts when you start dealing with your 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 brand. That's not what we were talking about in this instance. You are correct that it might be some dumbass shit to be worth hundred million dollars, and you be in the middle of my fucking branch book skating rink. I'm so not to me, y'all are putting too much emphasis on being outside. But, but, not, but, but, we're talking but about a different topic, Ice. I'm not I'm saying, saying that that's not true. We saying that. Academics is not outside. Oh, and yeah, ask yeah, me yeah, what yeah. was the difference between yeah, he and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me yeah, and, 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 and let me roll with you. You see, I tag all my pictures but, inside. But, but let me roll with your theory on, you on brands, right? A large here. part of my brand, me, only speaking for me, not Ack. Mm -hmm. A large part of my brand is don't say nothing about nobody. That's going to lead to an uncomfortable conversation when you see them, unless you willing unless. to have that conversation. So when I'm out. It ain't that I'm out moving like I'm the toughest nigga in the world. Correct. I'm out moving like I have given everybody respect, so I expect to get it when I'm out. Now, if that don't happen, then we got to go a different route. Correct. But and today, it don't. We 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 we're witnesses of this. You could be given all the respect in the world. Somebody can take something the wrong way. We always say you can't dictate how somebody responds to what they perceive to be as disrespect. So you could have been given all the respect in the world. And somebody just want to see niggas hate. Ice, Let's be clear, ice, niggas can see you ice, and just oh that's your no button. Fuck ice, that wait, nigga. hold up, Ish, Ice, you're, you're right. absolutely right. But a large part of men being men is what do you do when tensions rise? What do you do when it comes to conflict resolution? Mm -hmm. What do you do when there's a disagreement? You when mean? your man is like oh, that's a large part of just being a man. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you 100 percent there. Yeah, so I, I you don't want to eliminate. The, well, I don't want to eliminate those things, right? Like for me. When I move around, I move around in places that I'm familiar with and they're familiar with me. Correct. So when rowdy niggas come in there, oh, John, I see you by yourself. Oh, it's just dope. Mm -hmm. and I, like, as dumb as you may say it is, there is a certain level of respect that comes with you being able to move around freely in different places without feeling the need for protection. That's all. That's all. And I, I'm not I saying... I'm but not mad at act. Hey, get, get, get your protection. No, my get thing you. is just. I wish more of you niggas get your protection. No, my I'm thing tired is, rest in peace, I wouldn't be. I, I agree because if you're not honestly, like that, then don't be like that. Yeah, I'm not know. even. If you're not like that, don't be like that. That's true. You what? don't have. You don't have to quote unquote be like that for somebody to think you're like that or want to see you because they don't. They just don't like you, bro. I'm telling you this. That's true. 
But so the, you have to move smart because, yo. That's true, but the odds of. Nigga, PB nigga, was sitting at a fucking restaurant with his girl. He was sitting stop at a, it, yo. That's, stop. That's not, that's, not, that's not true. He was sitting at a restaurant that's with damn near a million dollars. That's not true. That. That's, don't, so that. don't say that. Don't, don't minimalize saying, it and outside. say he was sitting at a, a thing with I his girl. It. That nigga was sitting there with a million dollars worth of jewelry around the fucking wolves. Sitting, you holding a steak like this. Sitting where? What's going to happen? That's sitting there. All right, bro. He was sitting in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in somebody in the else's ghetto section. by his motherfucking self Moving with his around girl. Freely. With, with I, a I hear million y'all. dollars I, we worth of jewelry on. I'm telling I like you the points you're trying to make, but that PMB shit is a bad it's example. A bad okay, example. okay. A horrible no problem. Example. No, you should. Can, there's a million of them. I'm just saying that, yo, when you achieve a certain amount of notoriety, you good should, or bad, you, should move you need to move smart and protect yourself. I'm agreeing. Bottom line. I'm agreeing. It could come to you and you have no idea it's coming That's to you. That's true. It could be a nigga that didn't like you from 15 years ago That's true. for something you don't even know happened, that is but true. now you got some notoriety. You was on a flyer. Oh, shit, he's going to be there. Anything can happen. But you so you need to think smart. That's not the conversation today. we started off having. But back to y'all conversation. We started off talking no, he's about not outside. Act saying certain shit about certain niggas, and then you are not in a position in which to handle that. That's where this started off at. And if you know you're not in a position, don't right, say it. No, I'm with you there. I, I told I'm with the you story there. on the pod before. I'm 100 with you there. I was trying to talk to this girl. Me and the chick was talking, and my man was like, "Yo, that her boyfriend be shooting," and I was like. So he like nigga, you can't fuck with her. And I was like, nigga, you fuck everybody, girl. And he said, yeah, but I'm gonna shoot back. I'm gonna have to shoot for you. So don't fuck with her. And I said, good point. (laughs) There you go. You gotta play accordingly, my nigga. You can't just be out here doing wild shit if you not a wild nigga. I agree with that a hundred percent. That's all I'm saying. I'm with you a a thousand percent. That's all I'm saying to him. Don't be out there inviting it if you know that's not what you want. No, no, y'all call it trolling. That is true. That, 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 nigga, y'all, I, y'all, what, y'all do y'all call, call it trolling. It trolling. And what did y'all, I, what, y'all done made up a word for it. I'm the first person that sat there and said, hey, that was some dumb shit, trolling. That is I true. say that. Is. We don't need to pass I say was because I don't do that not shit you, no more. But I speak for me. I'm talking about me. So, yes, I say that was some dumb shit. Niggas be on the internet talking about niggas' mother, talking about yeah. niggas' kids, talking about You don't about realize, like, yo, it's, it's shit you attached behind that. You can't beat your way out of a fucking paper bag. And that shit is popular now. You know what I'm True. saying? Like, that shit is the masses now. I watch True. these niggas today troll shit. They troll me. I'm just looking like, bro, that's not the lane y'all want to go down. Like, that. I know you think it's funny, haha, but trust me, it's... Uh, find Andrew. a better way to get it. Uh, Andrew? No, not me. I uh, know I'm saying. You won't end up in trolling? No, I'm not ending nobody. In trolling? I'm not trolling back. Oh. I wrote the book on that. Y'all are not going to troll me. <laughs> Podcast was all over the place, but I liked it. <laughs> I like when they be. Just, I like that when this when is they just totally out of format. Just yeah, sh- just let them get to go. the shits. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, part of the show. Got a few of them here. You ready? Naka in AKA Naka says, "What is the cheapest shit you ever did for your girl for her birthday?" My answer is the same as ISIS. All right, that's what we say. It. Left her. Yeah. Break up with her. That, that, and, and just for the record, that works on Valentine's Day, Christmas, birthday, anniversary. That, that's like a get out of jail free card. That's just going to always work. Oh, shit. My cheativersary coming up. Ooh. <laughs> you doing anything for it? I probably got to buy a gift. What, yeah, what probably, the fuck is a cheativersary? You going you to buy a gift on the anniversary of you getting caught cheating? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. We made it. Look what we made it through, baby. That's that's the gift. You mm-hmm. the prize. You the prize. That's the gift. That's true. I didn't look at it that way. Um. Oh, Naka with another one. What advice would you give your tw- uh, a twenty one year old today? Where would your fundamentals lie, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can tab at it if you want. I don't give a fuck about them twenty one year olds. Yeah, I wouldn't know. And except for my son, whose project is out. Cop that. <laughs> <laughs> Trey button in your phone right now. Get that shit off. <laughs> Zay says, when you live in a home with your partner and her family, in parentheses it says daughter, do you do you leave the home upon breakup or do you have them leave? Preface, I'm the homeowner. Zay, you leave. He yeah. Gotta, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. He got to leave temporarily. You leave. Go get yourself a hotel. You ain't got to like move out or nothing, but you, you got to leave, though. You can go back after things get settled, but you get the fuck out of there. Got to mm-hmm. Yeah, at least for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we were able to help there. Yes, it's- <laughs> the JBP. The JBP. Yo, I, don't, I don't know how long Where that would happens, you be though. without the JBP? 
Yeah. Like, yo, it might take Shorty a couple months to get on her feet. It might. I don't know if I got uh, that in me. That's the way. Yeah, wait. <laughs> what you saying now? I'm going to go to this day's end for three days. <laughs> Tell your daughter what happened and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just oh, move it over so with her because I really like her. And, <laughs> and you get the fuck out. You really don't get to, get to three days because I like your daughter. <laughs> the JBP. The JBP. <laughs> Where would they be without the JBP? <laughs> All right. I don't know what we did this podcast. I, I have no chaos. idea. It, yeah, it was it was all over the place. Shout out to Ak. Word. He brought a little chaos. He did. Ak is chaotic, man. I'm glad that I've tamed my chaotic ways and I can just invite somebody over here to do it. <laughs> sit back and look at it like... Now I see what I am to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What you mean? I see what I am to y'all now. Y'all just get to sit back, chill, and yeah, watch you, you it. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, you go right ahead. Thanks a lot. No doubt. I don't even understand what you're talking Yo, keep about. us in your prayers or don't. I don't care. <laughs> Let me stop, man. And it goes. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. I bid you adieu, farewell, peace, out of your Cereva Derchi, au revoir. So long, goodbye, y'all hold it down. Remember, life is a series of moments, and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And do remember, lastly, I see what you niggas, see what you potters. Yo, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women, well, <laughs> they want you to teach them things. It go, and they plotting. Yo, we'll be back same time, same place this weekend. Let me tell y'all now, the end of the end of the year, we go, uh, end of the month, we going on vacation. Oh, yeah, we hey, out. Last Friday of the year and first Tuesday of the year, we won't be here. Leave that to Alessa, uh, Alicia Cara, whatever her name was with that record. She hates me, too. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was on her ass. He dropped that fucking great, amazing, introspective, here, introvert record, and then put out a bunch of pop bullshit after that. She hates me. I made it so you could say Jersey, and it was all good. I ain't crossover. Ah! No? No. I took the suburbs to the, huh? No. <laughs> I ain't crossover. I took these podcasts to the hood. Made them relate to your struggle. Told them about your hustle. <laughs> Sat on the white couch with Crocs on. I made them love you. you. No. You did that. You did Fuck the, you, nigga. Like, couch you good. How about that? Nah, What's I ain't that? playing y'all drop. In my drop. New job. New job. New job. New job. New I New ice and ish. Mm. Uh, enough of daddy.